Okay, and welcome everybody. So as you can see, we are finally going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. So the weird DS layout I should mention right quick. This is because I am playing this on my Wii U, which has a DS Virtual Console. I got a bunch of DS games before they closed the eShop. I also streamed Phantom Hourglass this way. So this is a game that a lot of people haven't really played. I played it like once a long, long time ago, and I remember like nothing. So the gamepad lets me use the touchscreen and the DS microphone because the gamepad has its own microphone. We're going to see if we can do this. It's trying to fit Picaspri there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I got to put Link. Should also mention right quick, it's been a bit since we did some Zelda because a whole lot of stuff happened last year and I just kind of like went on break from this. But we're finally continuing the Zelda marathon, everybody. Hope you're excited. Let's do it. Yes, uh, right hand. You're right-handed. So yeah, this is capturing everything you see on the gamepad, so I can use a touchscreen with a stylus and everything. Yes. Perfect. And we got a little link bear in the corner, because it's a perfect time to use this. Okay, hit this. Start game. Uh, battle mode is not gonna work on this. Okay, now I can turn it up. This is a tale from long ago, the tale of the first settlers of this land. In the beginning, the people followed the spirits of good, and all was peaceful. But that era of peace soon came to an end. Evil Demon King rose to power, destroying everything in his path. The spirits of good had no choice but to face him in battle. The war that ensued seemed to last an eternity, and much blood was shed. Finally, the spirits subdued the Demon King, though they could not destroy him. Their powers were greatly depleted. Uh-oh. The remaining power, they buried the Demon King's spirit in the ground. They built shackles to imprison him in a tower that acted as a lock. These shackles cover the land to this day. Oh, they're the tracks, I get it. With their power drained, the spirits of good return to the heavens. Suddenly, bereft of both demons and spirits, this land was entrusted to us. Isn't that nice. The zoom out, similar to Phantom Hourglass's intro. Well, do I know how to tell a story or what? Call it spirits and demons at war. I only do this show once a year, you know? It's a blasted masterpiece. A, a blaster piece. Hang on, is the audio too quiet or too loud? Let me know. I should turn it up for myself, too. What's this? You fell asleep during my magnum opus? Oh, don't worry, Link. You're good. I can't believe this. You know, Link? A lot of people would love to be in your position. As my roommate, you get to see my work for free. Plus, I'm not getting any younger here. Now, I don't believe this is the same, um, the same Nico from Wind Waker. I believe it's an ancestor. That, you know, happens to look exactly the same, like all Zelda characters. Not getting any younger here. This story might be the only thing that proves I existed. Can't you pay attention for one minute? And listen to an old man's final creation? Are you listening to me? Sort of. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Sorry for boring you. Is this one meant to be the same? I guess we'll find out here. Look, here comes your mentor. Hello there, Alfonso. This one is not, the, in fact, the same Alfonso, though. Why are you still here, Link? Come on now, wipe the sleep out of your eyes. Yeah, get up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Today's a very important day, you know? It's your audience with the princess. Did, what? Don't tell me you forgot. You won't amount to much if you don't pay attention. Don't you want your engineer certificate? No, the graduation ceremony is at the castle. Princess Zelda herself is going to do the honors. 
I'm heading to the station now, so meet me there. Remember, the station's up the road. Don't get lost. Got it? Good. We get a move on. See you later, Nico. That. Today's the day you graduate from apprentice to official engineer. It's quite an honor. You mustn't be late. Use the stylus to touch where you want to go. It's easy as that. To talk to someone or use an object, just tap what you're interested in. Now off to the castle with you. Scoop. All right, then. Completely with the touch screen. Can I get rupees? I cannot get rupees. I'm interested in that, but I can't touch it. Oh, you. Today's the day you graduate from apprentice to engineer. It's quite an honor. You mustn't be late. Use the stylus to touch where you want to go. Bip, bip, uh, same thing here. Yeah, and this one you just tap to roll. You don't have to draw like a little circle, which is really awkward as hell. I noticed the audio already has a bit more going for it. It felt like for Phantom Hourglass, at the time, they kind of sacrificed audio quality and had a lot of repetitive tracks everywhere. I guess we'll see when we get to the dungeons, because the dungeons had the same exact theme everywhere in Phantom Hourglass. Alright. Alright, so that is the same Nico from Wind Waker. So this Link is like a generation of the other Link, I guess, which is weird as hell. Let me see. Throw a rock and check things out. Hey, Link, tap me. Good job, Link. Tapping is your friend. To chat, just tap the person you want to talk to. Wait a second, there's a bunch of rocks in front of the house. Somebody must have been up to no good when they put them there. Must have been an Animal Crossing player. Hey, you look like you've got some free time on your hands. Instead of standing there, will you help clear the rocks out of the way? Grab something, just touch it. Then throw it and tap the direction you want. Now get to work. Yeah, but what's in here? Hmm. Hey there, Link. Graduation day is a very special day. Being a train engineer is a great honor, you know? After all, the princess personally reviews each candidate herself. And the ceremony's at the castle. And that's what I call celebrating in style. Look at that. The rocks are back. You can't tell me what to do. Hey, Link. Today's your graduation ceremony, right? How can someone who can't even do a somersault be a train engineer? You c if you can be an engineer, I bet anyone can do it. If you want to prove to me wrong, go roll into that tree over there. Just tap the screen twice in the direction you want to roll. Bees! Oh, you're such a klutz, Link. Why are you just standing there? Everyone knows that getting stung by bees hurts. When you see them buzzing, start running or throw yourself in the water, stat. Uh-oh. Get out of my business. I wish I could, like, custom edit the gamepad to display chat, because I have to look down at the gamepad constantly. But my TV is displaying what's being captured for the stream. Hey, don't get all bent out of shape. I was just goofing around. Let me give you something to make up for it. Here, take this. You got a wood heart. Check it on the collection screen. I remember these. Collectibles were kind of garbo in Phantom Hourglass, though. You can find treasures like this all over the world. Try to get a whole bunch of them, because something good happens when you do. Look at that. What's this? This is a stamp station, but you don't have any stamps. Or a stamp book, I should say. Ever notice how this town is crawling with doves? Who cares about doves? They might be pretty, but cuckoos are where it's at. Someday I want to raise so many you can hear them clucking a mile away. Look at those doves. Hang on, what's this? Alfonso's house. The dude with the bandana is called Gonzo in Wind Waker, right? I think so. Name's not really important to me. Only two houses. What a great town. You're late. I don't remember a single dungeon, so it's may this may as well be, like, new to me. I remember just nothing. 
Phantom Hourglass, I definitely beat a ton of times, though. These people are rude. Dubs are adorable. Oh, maybe, yeah. Do you understand the significance of today? In order to become a train engineer in this kingdom, you must have an audience with the princess. If she grants you her permission, you can finally operate a train by yourself. Now hop aboard, we're going to the castle. Good, and let's get going. Oh, but one last thing. You're gonna drive the train to get us here. Call it your final exam. Don't look so worried, it'll be a piece of cake. You need to get us to the castle in 300 seconds. Right now, we're here in a Boda village. And our destination is Hyrule Castle, right here. There are other trains on the tracks, so be careful not to hit them. The tracks you can drive on are darker colored, the other ones are off limits. So you think you got it? Yeah. I like your confidence. I'll remind you how to operate the train on the way there. Hop aboard. Now, Spirit Tracks basically shows that, like, um, Link and Tetra basically found the new place to call Hyrule, right? So, that's why the theory, or the explanation that Breath of the Wild, I guess this goes faster. Toot toot. The explanation that Breath of the Wild takes place on all timelines doesn't make sense, because this is just a completely different landmass that's above the Great Ocean. Hang on, let me just move the slider here. Just the volume. You've probably all got this down, but humor me while I tell you this again. Yeah, I already figured it out. This here's the gearbox. Slide the lever up and down to change speed. Slide that to go in reverse. You can use it as an emergency brake, too. Do that to toot the horn. This is the whistle. Touch it and give it a good pull to blow the train's whistle. I wish we had, like, a Teddy Ursa whistle emote now. Because I think chat wants me to toot the horn. Toot the horn over and over. Oh, you can look around by touching the direction you want to go. Good engineers are always aware of their surroundings, you know? So you catch all that? Yeah. Now, set the gearbox for fast forward and ratchet up the speed. Alright. Chat! I'm tooting the horn! That whistle. Do, do, do. Look at that. This sure is exciting. We're waiting to get to our destination, I guess. <laughs> Look at those DS graphics blown up on the big screen. Oh. Scare the cows. Or were those pigs? See how there's a fork in the tracks ahead? We'll need to use the rail switch to decide which direction to go. Okay. This is the rail switch. Slide the handle in the direction you want to go. Hang on, I just feel like it's a little... Game audio is a little loud there. Your course is displayed on the map here, so be sure to check it. Got it? Yes. From here on, we'll be sharing the tracks with other trains. Keep an eye on the map and make sure to choose the correct tracks. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go on a big little adventure this way. Can I stop here? Well, I'd have to stop the train physically there, I think. We gotta get to the castle. We only have 230 seconds left. Toot. Toot. Chad, I'm gonna toot the horn over and over. Use it with the touchscreen. It's so immersive. Why can't I do this with a Joy-Con or Wiimote? Uh... Hang on a second. Did I just get a- hang on. Did I just get a frickin' notification? Okay, it's just a- it's just a pop-up. I thought the capture card disconnected for a second. I was scared. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, we're gonna go this way first. Now we need to turn up ahead. Yeah, there we go. That train better be moving. Now, I'm reasonably sure this is pretty unsafe for trains to be going like this. This seems like an accident waiting to happen. This is why we have schedules. So they don't inter intersect, right? 
Letting them just pick and choose their way as they advance seems like a rough idea. Hang on. Okay, this should be enough. I'm tooting. I'm tooting. Toot, 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 toot. We're becoming heroes riding the train. I know that the train was a big reason people called this game dumb when it first came out. Because it was like, really? Your your companion and your vehicle thing is just a train? That's lame. We've got a clear view of the Tower of Spirits today. Check out that castle. Alright, we're almost at the castle. Use the lever on the gearbox to stop the station. All right, we're gonna come in, slow it down, bring her in. Almost there, that guy's gonna ram us. Good job, you passed the exam with flying colors. We did it, everybody. Castletown. Look at that wobbling post box. Got us to Castletown. Now the game's a lot more quieter now that we're out of the train section. Let me turn it back up. God, is it going to be like that every time? And you know what else? You look good for handling a train. That's the surest sign you're going to make a great engineer. Now just head to the castle for your graduation ceremony. It's to the north. You can't miss it. Good luck now. Okay. Hey there, Link. I hear your graduations today. You know, I've always had a lot of respect for engineers. Thanks to them, we can go anywhere we want in the kingdom. Plus, they even transport our goods to different places for us. Yep, when you graduate, I sure hope you'll take me out for a spin somewhere. By the way, do you know who built these railways? People say they've been here since before we came to this land. How could that be? You're an engineer, right? You know anything about this? I do. What's that you say? The tracks were built by spirits of good? Where do you get these crazy ideas from? I can see a chest up there. Hang on. Uh, I'm put a little circle on the map for later. Okay. Well, hello, Link. How are you? Today's the big day. You're becoming an official engineer. You know, I've been raising cuckoos recently to sell in different towns. Once you graduate, maybe you could help me transport them. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's take a look at these houses. What do we got here? Are the, look at those bunnies. Bunny pictures on the wall. It said our kingdom was established 100 years ago. Okay, so Lincoln Tetra found uh, the new Hyrule 100 years ago. That answers chat's debate. But I hear the spirit tracks are even older than the kingdom. And did you know that they all met at a meet at the Tower of Spirits that's nearby? It's all very mysterious, don't you think? Yeah, because they're all probably the shackles for whatever demon that was in the intro. That means Nico is over a hundred years old, if that's the same one. Excellent. Okay. Now, this game's- that means this game, Zelda, must be related to, um, uh, Tetra. But this Link is completely unrelated to Link. Assuming Link and Tetra ended up together. That one's a big debate. Wait, what? Prizes? Battles? Buy prize postcards. Oh, it's a scam. And win yourself some treasure. The more postcards you send, the better your chances of winning. Oh, yeah, I'm so sure. Today's prizes are Alchemy Stone. Second is Pearl Necklace. And third is 20 Rupees. Hmm. Lion statue. Let's go in this one. There's no one here. The pictures on the walls are different in every house. That's nice. I check you. This city is the biggest in the kingdom. A whole four houses. Or sorry, five we can enter. Hyrule Castle's up north. It's pretty impressive, but it should be because that's where Princess Zelda lives. She's awfully pretty, but lately she doesn't come around these parts much. I guess she must be busy doing princessy stuff. 
We have anything you might need. Castletown shop. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're all doing good. We're getting cozy with just this today. I want to do... Is that Tingle? Wait, that's Tingle's official Wind Waker art. What? Once again, I'm reminded of Rosie Rupee Lands. I gotta play those someday. It's just a cardboard cutout of his official Wind Waker art. That's so weird. Why, hello! Welcome to my store. We have many fabulous items there. Sure to please take a look around. Says prize postcards, a hundred rupees. Give me a break. Shield cost eighty rupees. Mm, a little bit short here, I'm afraid. Back again. What a weird thing! I didn't realize that was there. Dingle's there. It must be the dark timeline. Yeah. I see another chest up here. I'm just gonna mark them. I may as well. This has that old eyeball. Hey, it's you! This isn't a place for kids, kid. Now run home to mommy. Okay, I beat you in Duel Masters anyway. Alright. She must be another ancestor. Or... If this, if for this game, you can basically just call them grandkids, can't you? Everyone looks exactly the same. They weren't just reusing the models. Whoa, you lost your wings! And you're doing whatever the hell that is. Howdy there, mister! Me? Oh, I'm no good at long-winded introductions. I'm just an average guy who works the postman gig to get by. You call me Postman. All my friends do. Now that you know my name, next time I see you, don't be shy. Say hello. Speaking of names, you're Link, right? You've got- I've got a letter for you, so I'll just jump right in and read it out loud. Oh wait, that's the way we used to do things, but no more. Apparently some folks thought our reading our letters out loud was rude. Yes, it was actually. I'm pretty sure during the Phantom Hourglass playthrough, uh, your grandpa there, I gave him a lot of crap for that. That's kind of a federal crime, isn't it? So now our policy is to just hand deliver the mail unopened. I'm glad that society has progressed in these hundred years. Here you go. You got a letter from the postman. Okay, I've delivered your mail. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. But look at him doing that thing. Get it? Because he's a train in the train game. Collection. That's a fancy looking thing. From the Postmaster. Dear Link, our new postal system has started running today. If you're reading this letter, it means my new postman is doing his job right. He's as hardworking and efficient as they come, so be nice to him, won't you? We'll be in touch again if anything new comes up. This is spam. I didn't ask for this. Alright then. Let's head on over here. Princess. Wants to make me an engineer. Well, wait a second. Oh, their clothes are based off uh, Link's clothes. I get it, because he's one of the founders of the kingdom. That's neat. That's a neat little detail. I like that. What is it, kid? We're kind of busy protecting Hyrule Castle right now. I'm so sure you are. You got no business here. I suggest you scram. What's that? You're here for the engineer graduation ceremony. Yes, sir. Oh, I'd completely forgotten today was the ceremony. Oh, I didn't know they gave engineer certificates to little kids like you. Guess times are a-changing. Well, go on in. Okay, then. Floor one. Princess's throne room is up these stairs. Only invited guests are allowed in. What that means for you is... Get lost. What's all the commotion here? Oh, good day, Chancellor Cole. Apologies for the disturbance. This boy says he's come to see the princess. Is that so? You're here for the graduation ceremony, but you're so young. What a waste of resources. The spirit tracks are vanishing, yet the princess insists on performing these ridiculous ceremonies. Well, come along, boy. We must get you to your ceremony. Follow me. I'm sure you don't have uh, devil horns beneath those two top hats. <laughs> He's a chancellor at the castle, chat, and he has a mustache. Surely he's the good guy. 
Never trust anyone with two top hats. They can they can pull two rabbits out of a hat at the same time. Don't just stand there drooling, Private. Move aside. Yes, sir. He's so full of himself. Princess Zelda's so nice. She lets the Chancellor get away with anything. Now he struts around the castle as if he were king. Alrighty then. Oh, look at that. Yeah, check out the Tetra... The te Tetra window there. Stained glass, that's the term I'm looking for. Hello, milady. Oh. <laughs> Who's that unimportant guy in the background? Raising your head without permission! You ill-mannered urchin! Chancellor, I it out. Don't pay any attention to Chancellor Cole. You must be the new engineer. What's your name? Oh, Link is a wonderful name. Well, Link, by the power vested in me, I hereby proclaim you. We're wasting our time here, your highness. Please just hurry up and finish this foolish ceremony. We could if you'd shut up already. Very well, Chancellor. Is there a reason you're listening to this boyo? I'd go over and I'd smack his his top hats off and be like, pick them up. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I'm the princess. We hereby present you with your engineer degree. Thank you, teacher. Check it out. I want stuff. I hereby recognize our newest royal engineer. Link, work hard, for we all rely on you, Link. You got your royal engineer certificate. Now you're a full-fledged engineer. Shh, take this. No, don't say a word right now. Read this later, and beware of the Chancellor. Blackmailing you. Ceremony's over, so I suggest you move along. Why don't you go polish your train or something? Not that it matters much. That thing will be useless before too long. <laughs> I'm evil. Can you tell that? What if I follow them? Graduation ceremony's over, so it's time for you to go. Well, it's not entirely true. You can look around. Just know we're off limits. Well, that's nice. Can I sit on the throne? No. Princess Zelda's private quarters are through here. No one enters without permission. By the way, I noticed that she gave you something at the ceremony. You can see what it was at the collection screen. <laughs> Wasn't a love letter, was it? Let's find out. Let's read it in front of everyone. From Princess Zelda. I have a great favor that I must ask of you in person. Follow this secret path at the top of the castle. Oh, I see the map there. Tap the map icon to copy the location to your map. Okay. I'll just copy it like that. Please come to my quarters as soon as you can. Don't let anyone see you. All right. Let's have a little look around then. I'm, don't mind me, just random train engineer. I guess I use the stairs over there, but... Just because you're an engineer doesn't give you the right to snoop. Even new recruits like me know there are places you're not supposed to go. I hope I get promoted too, uh, soon. I'm tired of wearing this goofy recruit uniform. Hey, it's not goofy. It's awesome. If you were a bear and, if it, and it was blue, it would look even better. Hi, everybody. 
Oh, hey, you shouldn't just wander around the castle like that. People might think you're snooping. Don't worry, just going towards the princess's private quarters. Nothing strange about that. Let's go have a look here. Floor two. That's sealed, or hang on. The arrow shows me, but I can't tap that. Okay. Oh, oh right, I made it. Let me get a drink here. Hey, it's that thing that's gonna make this playthrough a nightmare. I'm so glad you made it, Link. Did any of the guards see you on the way here? Uh, nope. Really? That's great. Listen, you're the only one who can help me. I have to ask a favor of you, Link. As you know, the Tower of Spirits has protected our kingdom for ages. The tower connects all the spirit tracks that crisscross the land. However, for some reason, they seem to be vanishing from everywhere. Something must have happened at the tower to cause all this. I must go there to investigate. I've heard tales of a sage who guards our land and lives in the tower. Perhaps she might be able to shed some light on what's happening. Chancellor Cole forbids me from leaving the castle due to safety concerns. I think he just doesn't want me going to the tower, though. But why? It's clear he's hiding something. I have a feeling that something terrible is about to happen. That's why I absolutely must get to the tower. What do you think? Okay. Thank you so much, Link. I might get executed if we're caught, but hey, why not? All right, please put this on right away. It's a recruit uniform. The guards are starting their patrols, so getting past them won't be easy. But if you wear this, they'll think you're one of them. Hey, I think this might fit me just nicely. You got a recruit uniform. Wearing this, you can pose as a soldier and move freely about the castle. Please get changed so we can go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look the other way. But please hurry. Yeah, yeah, just give me a second here, ma'am. That was fast. Looks good enough, I suppose. Now let's go before the guards find us. Alright. I am Link, and I sure am doing stuff. There's a tea set. Uh-oh. Time for some stealth, everybody. Some touchscreen stealth. These guards are pretty serious. Just pretend to be a new recruit. That way, if they see you, they'll just think you're one of them. If they see me, I'm sure they'll make a big fuss and won't let me out. So please help me get past the guards without them seeing me, okay? I'll follow behind you if you want me to take a different route. Touch the marker at my feet and draw a path for me to walk on. Just draw the route you want me to follow. All right. Chat, I've been re doing a lot of reading. I see y'all there. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't had much of a chance to interact. This is a switch icon. If we get split up, just tap it to see where I am. Okay. This is the call icon. Tap it to call me over to where you are. You understand my explanation? Yes. I know you're gonna do a great job. Let's get moving. Let me see. Okay. Okay, let's do that to go to her. Let's just do this then. Uh-oh. Nope, no, it's not that. Come over here. Damn it! Princess Zelda, what are you doing here? Please return to your room. Hang on, I was figuring things out. Okay, she'll follow. Maybe I can just get by him before he turns. Yeah, that worked. This guy's in the way, so I gotta go here. Hang on. Can he, does he look down here? I hope not. Let's 
go. Okay, that worked. That was surprisingly easy. Look, that guard isn't moving. He's just standing in the same place. Why don't you try to distract him somehow, Link? I can slip past him when he's looking the other way if you draw a path for me. All right, then. You should come with me, though. Come on. Okay. Hang on. Let me see. What if he sees me? Don't you have work to do, rookie? Why don't you go cut the grass or something? Okay, will he stay looking at me? Why are you skulking around me? It's creepy. Okay, let's try this. Hello, sir. Can you please stare at me? What's what's that look for? Is something in my teeth? <laughs> All right, later, bro. Um. Does that mean I can't interact with the other ones, though? Hang on, what if I do this? Howdy, sure is nice, uh, nice weather we're having. Not that I'm uh, slacking on my patrol duties or something. Hang on, let me just get him to... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. What's that look for? Something in my teeth? Don't worry, I'm just trying to sell him stuff. Trying to sell them on the postcards. Why are you skulking around me? It's creepy. Okay. You hear that? What'd you do that? I got a bad heart, you know? Alright. Hang on. Hey, quit messing around. I mean it. Oh, I see. That guard seems really serious about his job. I've already moved him. I can't talk to him. Um, I can only uh, distract him with the rocks. I don't think you can distract him with small talk. Is there some way you can get him to move from that spot? I did, but, uh... Go. No! Damn it! You didn't turn around in time. Your Highness, you mustn't wander around outside like this. To your room, please. Damn it. Okay. That's annoying. Don't you have things to do, Missy? Yeah, let's do this. Scram, you're interfering with my duties. Oh, she got stuck. Scram, you're interfering with my duties. Will this work? If it would have sent me all the way back, I would have been pissed. All right, later. Okay. Now we're just gonna go over here. Zelda, please move with some urgency. Yes, she should. How did they send me up a ledge? Yes. needs to move a little closer. Hmm. So if I throw rocks over here, I can get Zelda to this, but hang on a second. I'm confused, because if I get Zelda over here, he can just see her from here, because he, his vision goes over this way. Does that mean this guy won't see? His uh, field of vision cone is kind of small, so I guess not. I guess I need to get her down here. Please wait for me. Okay. That's what we'll do then. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, <laughs> sucker. And that's stealth chat. Okay, we did it. The vision cone, their vision isn't very good. The, uh, the Hyrule Kingdom needs to invest in some glasses, clearly.
We did it. We made it out of the castle. Now let's board the train and head for the Tower of Spirits. What took you so long, Link? Did you keep me waiting so you could change clothes? Oh, hello, your highness. What are you doing here? Hello, Alfonso. Have you been well? I'm so sorry we haven't spoken since you left the castle guard. I must admit, I miss hearing you bellowing orders in the courtyard. You're too kind to me. I'm sure hearing me yell all day was far from pleasant. But you shouldn't distract me with talk of the old days. I'll just come out and ask, what are you doing here without a proper escort? Are you responsible for this somehow, Link? I asked for his assistance, and I hope I can count on your help too, Alfonso. I would feel much safer with you at my side. Please come with us to the Tower of Spirits. To the Tower of Spirits? Whatever for? We don't have time to discuss it right now. I'll tell you all about it when we're aboard. But what if something happens? If something happens is exactly why I need you. You were once the greatest swordsman in the whole kingdom. Yes, but that was a long time ago. Now I'm just a simple train engineer living in the countryside. Can't be more than that, but I'll come along with you if you wish. Thank you, Alfonso. Okay, Link, all aboard! That one skipped on its own. That, that, that's my line. Train time, chat. We haven't even gotten the sword yet. Okay, looks like it's going on its own. Cutscene. Oh, no! Whoa! Tracks are gone. Your Highness, look over there. What's happening? I'm going to put the game pad down before I drop it. Oh no, there's a giant evil thing floating above the tower. This doesn't work as well when the screens are separated like this. Hmm? Whoa, it broke up into pieces! Hi, Vampy, how you doing? If we don't put the pieces back together, we can't climb the tower. Floating. What's happening to the Tower of Spirits? <gasps> Raspberry mist. It's an evil train! That's a bit wacky. <laughs> Out for a leisurely stroll, your highness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. You know that's not allowed. <gasps> allowed by who? You, Chancellor Cole? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Who else? Who do you think is really in charge? <laughs> and I'm here too. My goodness, pretending to be human sure is exhausting. Who knew that Chancellor was just another word for royal babysitter? I had meant to keep up the ruse a little bit longer. But you pushed me to this, Princess. Bringing in the boy and the engineer didn't help either. What are you talking about? That face. I'm talking about your infernal meddling. But now those vile tracks are disappearing. 
The time is finally at hand. All we need now is a little help <laughs> from you, your highness. I don't know who these two are, your highness, but with your permission, I'd be happy to teach them some manners. <laughs> how gallant, how brave, how incredibly foolhardy. Enough out of you. My family has served the royal house for generations. To all, all two of them. Melodrama bores me. Brine, or, uh, burn, it's, yeah, it's B, it's Y-R. Do I say it as burn? Would you kindly dispose of this fool? <laughs> this man speaks the truth, Cole. His movements are not those of an amateur. But he is only human. Actual cutscenes in this one. <laughs> Man, Hourglass had nothing like this. I told you I'll defend the princess at any cost. And I told you, you're only human. You do know how to put on a show. <laughs> that was hardly a fair fight, Cole. He looks like he has like a little, uh... Help me, Link. A little, like, life floaty as his belt buckle. Oh! I tried. No! Don't come any closer! Shadow Zaft. Good work, Burn. That. I'm not sure if there's an official pronunciation. By. Uh, Byron? I wouldn't say it like that. I think it's probably Burn. Like how you'd say worm. Like the, as in the dragons. That takes care of the first step of our plan. <laughs> Our work is done here. Come now, Burn. Is it probably like Burn because they're coal and Burn? That probably is it, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's probably it. Oh. Hyrule Castle. Welcome back, boy. I'm glad to see you're finally awake. There was some hubbub outside. When I went to investigate, people said the spirit tracks were disappearing. At that point, the guards brought you and Alfonso back from outside. Both of you were out cold, so you've been waiting. I've been waiting for you to come too. Now tell me, what happened? Oh, nothing. So it was just a rumor. Well, if you think these eyes can't see, you're quite mistaken. You engineers were passed out and the tracks have disappeared. Still, you say you've made it all up? <laughs> Actually, so what you're saying is, the Chancellor is some kind of monster and he kidnapped Princess Zelda. Hmm. My goodness, what a story, Mark. You're just pulling my leg, though, aren't you? Yep. What's this? Teasing an old man? What a naughty child you are. But I'm not the kind of old man to be taken in by those tales. What a story. Could it be true? Kidding! What? Teasing an old man? <laughs> so it's true, you say. Hmm. What? So what you're saying is the princess has been kidnapped. This is terrible. I must inform the princess at once. I don't think he listened very well. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, she's not here. Well, I'm at a loss as to what to do. Where's the king? Where's the queen? Probably dead. Uh... 
Oh, what should I do? Perhaps I should talk to the Chancellor, but he's not here either. Not to mention, uh, he could very well be a monster. What a terrible mess! Help me! I don't know which- which superior I'm supposed to report to anymore. Oh, my head. Did they hurt you, Link? What happened to the princess? Did she escape unharmed? As long as I'm laid up, you're responsible for her safety, Link. Yeah, it's up to me, then. Playing cards on the table? I really have no idea what you're talking about, little guy. And I certainly don't know anything about the princess being kidnapped. But for the matter of the Chancellor being a monster, that's just crazy talk. That's a window, I guess. I can't walk in there, but I can walk here. We're all waiting to see what's going on with the disappearing spirit tracks. You know where the princess and the chancellor are? We could really use their help right now. Hello? Hello, guards? Please help me. Can any of you see me? I need your help. Let me just run up here. Security's not too tight right now. Help. I need your help. Why can't anyone hear me? Now she can sneak past them. She activated the perfect stealth cheat code, but at what cost? Thank you. I guess I can go to Zelda's private quarters now. Oh, wait, that goes downstairs, right? What's this? It's tough going past here, recruit. There are monsters everywhere. No place for little pups like you to be on a stroll. Go play somewhere else. All right, then. Hydrate and shrimp. Okay. Ow. I have... Hang on a second. Just stretching. Oof. My arms feel like jelly from the gym as of yesterday. They're gonna feel- my hands are gonna feel weird having to hold up the gamepad the whole day. I remember they were like that during Phantom Hourglass. Okay, I'm just doing a little stretch. I'll hydrate a little bit too, don't worry. Let's go up here. Can you see me, Link? I must apologize to Alfonso for what happened. And to you, too. I never knew the Chancellor was capable of such evil. All these years, and I never noticed what he really was. I was a fool. And the Tower of Spirits breaking apart. You saw it, too, didn't you? It must have something to do with the Dark Forces. After all, they made the Spirit Tracks disappear. This must be the handiwork of Cole and his cronies. But what could their their goal be? He said something about the spirit tracks vanishing. What did he mean by that? Why would they take my body away with them? What will they do with it? You're floating. Oh, I'm sorry. Seems I'm much lighter without my body. Listen, uh, Link, let's try again to go to the Tower of Spirits, because it worked so well the last time. Now more than ever, we must find the Tower Sage. Before we go, I want to show you something. Chat, let's make a prediction. How long do you think it's going to take me to clear the sections with this damn thing? Because I have to use the gamepad microphone. I mean, it's not like the DS microphone worked any damn better, but... This spirit flute is a prized family heirloom. It's been handed down for generations. It originally belonged to one of my ancestors, the one who founded this kingdom. It is my greatest treasure of all. Petra found it. I can't carry it while I'm in this state, as you can see. But I'm certain it's meant to protect me. I can hardly ask you to do any more for me. But will you take this? 
And will you come to the tower with me? You're the only person I can turn to now. Sure. You got a cool ass flute. This pan flute will probably come in very handy. Thank you so much, Link. Now then, shall we go? I'll travel alongside you. That's right, no fairy, no Midna, no talking boats. Our companion for this game is Ghost Zelda. Oh, pardon me. Wait just a second, Link. The tracks are gone, and even if they weren't, we don't have a train. How can we get to the Tower of Spirits? Oh, I know. I've heard there's a path from the castle to the tower. But if it does exist, it certainly hasn't been used recently. I just want to point out, it's been an hour and I still don't have a sword. Before everyone goes back to say like, Man, remember when Zelda games gave you the sword right away? It exists, it certainly hasn't been used recently. There's a door at the back of the castle, maybe the path is somewhere there. Let's go see. Yeah, this is probably where I get it. I think that's that path I found before. Usually it takes a while for Zelda to die, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Phantom Hourglass, Linebeck wasn't the companion. Uh, that was Seal of the Fairy. What is it, Recruit? You want to leave through the door? Well, I can tell just by looking at you that you're, you aren't adequately prepared. There's all sorts of strange beasts on the other side of this door. Not the kind of place you want to go to without a sword. He's right, Link. Heading to the Tower of Spirits without a sword is dangerous. Why don't you find the guard captain and ask him to loan a sword? I'll probably just think you want it for training. Okay, let's go find it. Beast. We have to take out the beast check, because what if they attack the teddies? If the bears get hurt, who will protect them? Now, who's the guard captain? Let's see... Nice weather we're having. The view here is something else. Hang on. Can I go over to this other one? No, the balcony's sealed off. Let's go down and talk to people till we find it. Gotta protect the bears. Always protect the teddies. We're all waiting to see what's going on with the disappearing spirit tracks. You know where the princess and chancellor are? We could really use their help. I've already talked to you. That's right. You're crazy for wanting to go to the back of the castle. The store will take you there, but why head there in the first place? You know, you might want to talk to the guard captain. He's probably in the training hall. Okay, but as a guard, shouldn't you know that? Yeah. Yeah. I should. What now, recruit? Oh, you want a sword so you can lead through the back of the castle? Did I get that right? Yes. Some swordsman you are, running around with no sword. There's something fishy about this. Are you really a new recruit? Oh, your eyes tell the whole story. All right, take this one. You got the recruit sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus to attack. But listen, just because you got a sword doesn't make you a swordsman. Let me see if you're truly worthy of handling a weapon like that. All right, time for a little sword practice. These fellows are here to help you train. Don't hold back when you're attacking them. Kill them if you must. First, the targeted attack. Hit each guard twice with the targeted attack. If you don't know how to do a targeted attack, just ask me. No, oh, I want to kill him. Finish him off. Good, the targeted attack is the most basic attack. Next is the side slash. Hit each guard with two attacks. Get moving, recruit. Um, you know what I noticed? This Link, even though this is like the same model as the Phantom Hourglass Link, right? It's not the same grunts and slashes as Phantom Hourglass and Wind Waker. They're different voice clips. Was I wonder why they changed that. Nice form. Now for the spin attack. This one's a bit trickier. If you don't know how to do this, just ask me. Just draw a circle around yourself. 
Good work, recruit. You've completed all training exercises. Since you've got the basics down, I'll give you this sword. Now keep up the good work and come back here to polish your skills. Anything else? Remember to keep practicing every day. Come see me again. You want to train some more. What about them? Not bad. Of course, I've been training all morning, so my muscles are pretty tired. Now that the princess and chancellor are gone, what will happen to the castle? I guess we better train extra hard, just in case. No matter how talented you are, you have to train to keep up those skills. They seem like they know what they're doing. They all have a spear. I have a sword. You did a wonderful job. That was amazing, Link. Now that you have a sword, we can exit through the door in the back. Let's go. Overthrow the monarchy. Not a single guard is going to save Zelda. Yeah, that's right. Why would they do that? I think I can just go to it through here. I'm already lost. Yeah, I can get to it from here. Oh, hang on. There's a chest there. Hell yeah! Looting the castle! Just a few of these will buy you something at the store. Ooh! Chad, I could buy some candy. I think candy sounds nice right now. Thank you, Marisa, up there, Just Dog. Right, two years. I have the time flies. Hey, recruit, there's all sorts of monsters. I told, I've told, i told you already they can't let you through without a sword. Oh, I got, you got yourself a sword. All right, then. Careful out there. I'm not sure how good the shield even is. I need some backup here. Oh, get away! Oh, I thought I was going to do a cutscene. Oh, uh, yeah, hey there! It's dangerous being out here by yourself with these monsters. What? You're searching for a tunnel that'll take you to the Tower of Spirits? Well, there was a path up that way, but recently the rock falls have closed it off. I'm not exactly sure where it was, but if I were you, I'd investigate that wall. All right. Yeah, this game has a lot better music. I was talking a little bit about it earlier, but I don't know if it was because the DS was still new and they didn't know how to optimize the SD card space. But, um, like, the thing about Phantom Hourglass is that it was severely lacking in, like, like good audio variety. Every dungeon had the same theme. A lot of, a lot of like, islands had the same theme. It wasn't, like, the best Zelda music-wise, I'd have to say. Do this. Even, like, like a lot of themes would just repeat, like, the same five notes, which was kind of lame. That's, like, a, such a bad thing about that. Oh, I recognize this music. Phantom Hourglass Cave theme. This game already has more music than all of Phantom Hourglass so far. Yeah. Like, listen. This cave theme... It's just the same few notes repeated over and over. There's no build-up to anything. That, that's what I mean about Phantom Hourglass's soundtrack. It was all just themes like this. I guess they were really hurting for SD card space. It's awfully dark here, and it's kind of damp, too. Is this really the way to the tower? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud. Come on, let's go. All right, hang on. Don't worry. The streamer is sitting just right. When chat tells me to check my posture, gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it. I need to make sure my spine lasts at least a few extra years with this job. Tap a block to grab it, to tap the arrow icon to pull it around. Hmm, I wonder what we do here. Whoa. You believe what we're doing here, chat? There's great ones like Lineback's theme, yeah. But even then, Great Sea from Wind Waker was recycled, yeah. Small key. Touch door to open it. Not 
something else in this darn cave so we can just open this one up. I'm sure this will lead to fun places. Or two. The door won't open if you just hit the switches in a circle. Wait. All right. Then I won't. The switch after the bottom switch is the left one. Okay. I have to write down hints, chat. That's the DS Zelda experience. Write stuff down. Before you hit the bottom switch, hit the top one. Okay. Top, bottom, left, which means the first one is right. Top, bottom, left. The right switch. Okay. Right, top, bottom, left. Right, top, bottom, left. Write that down. Now wait for it to regrow, because I hit it when I hit the slime. Oh, gotta do it again. Come on. They got the Goombas! Okay. Right. Top. Bottom. Left. There we go. I can't believe no one got through this puzzle for several thousand years. Unbelievable. Me stuff. Uh oh. I hear squeaking. Do you hear squeaking, Link? Yeah, I did. Rats! Ah! Oh, how horrible! Don't worry, I killed him, lady. Thank you! Those beasts were just terrifying. I never want to see them again. Okay, rats are going to stun her in stealth sections, noted. That's why- that's the we reason they have that cutscene, isn't it? So that- I'm gonna have to, like, make a path for her, and the rats are gonna be an obstacle. Why is Zelda dead? Cleffa's got her. It's up to the teddies now to avenge. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> to the spirit tower. I don't know why we didn't just walk there. The tracks were gone, but it's not like you couldn't just walk on the field like all the other links do. What's this train? This, my dear, is the spirit's train. They entrusted us with its keeping. How did you know that? And you can hear me? Are you the sage of the tower? Well, I wouldn't put it exactly this way. I like how she has to ride in, like, a little wheelchair thing because she, like, probably ri like used it to ride the rails in ancient times or something. Well, I wouldn't exactly put it that way. But I do watch over the Tower of Spirits. My name is Anjean. Am I glad to see you? There's something we have to talk to you about. All right, we're gonna explain all of it to her off screen. Hmm, yes, that parlor you're sporting is quite frightful. Or Palor, sorry. One might even call it rather hideous, in fact. Okay, ma'am. You're gonna talk to people like that with that Jimmy Neutron-ass looking hair? Hideous, how dare you? I see that feistiness runs in your family, my dear. There's no need to get your feathers all ruffled. Oh, is she implying that Tetra showed up here before and, uh, sassed her? <laughs> I think that's what that means. No need to get your feathers all ruffled. Oh. Did you know someone in my family? Feisty and bright, just like she was. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Yes, I knew one of your ancestors. I met her when she had just arrived here. She and I were friends for a very long time. My family first arrived here about a century ago. Are you already here in the tower then, Angine? 
That's a story for another time, my dear. Right now, we must discuss a matter discuss a matter more grave. Tell me, do you know the story of this tower? Only what the folk tales say. Long ago, the spirits of Good and the Demon King were embroiled in a never-ending war. In the end, the spirits could not defeat him. But they did manage to imprison him in this tower. It's not chains or bars that keep him imprisoned, but an energy that flows between the tower and the four temples that surround it. Of course, Sanjin. Then the spirit tracks... Correct, my dear. The spirit tracks carry that energy. The tracks are lost. The tower's energy will fade. And so will the Demon King's prison. Look at her mouth moving. I can only pray that my VTuber animation is like half as like lifeful as this. Half full of life as this right here. <laughs> And so will the Demon King's prison. And that's what the evil ones are after. They aim to resurrect uh, Maladus, the Demon King. Right now, my strength maintains his shackles. But it's only a matter of time until they're broken. Of course, in order to resurrect Maladus, they need one other key ingredient. You, a vessel from the royal eight line of ancient Hyrule with sacred power coursing through its veins. Yes, Maladus requires you in order to return. But only your shell, my dear. It would be the only vessel suitable for him to inhabit. Ugh, pardon me, I need a drink. No, the Demon King's gonna run around my body? Oh, that's too disgusting for words. <laughs> she looks horrified. We have to stop them. We can't let the Demon King return. My thoughts exactly, my dear. At the top of this tower is your body. The Demon King's spirit is also there. To prevent him from possessing your body, you must fortify his prison. To do this, store the energy between the temples in this tower. In other words, Restore the tracks between here and the temples. But how? How do we restore the spirit tracks? The answer lies above us in the floors above the tower. Four stone rail maps are enshrined here. You must retrieve them. As you know, this tower connects our, connects our kingdom. Right now, the tower is filled with an evil energy. If you can get far enough to retrieve the rail map, a portion of the tracks will be restored. Start your search by climbing the stairs. Of course. Thank you, Angine. Look at her face. <laughs> that is the face of a Zelda with absolute purpose right now. She does not want this to come to fruition. <laughs> you have a very important mission ahead of you. The kingdom is in danger. We're all counting you. You understand the gravity situation. You must find the sacred rail maps in the tower. I will wait for you here. That's what the princess have always done. From what I understand, it's kind of family tradition. No need to be scared. Just fuck up and get moving. Owl skipped on its own, by the way. That's why I was reading really fast. Sorry to interrupt such, um, enthusiastic pep talk. But ascending this tower alone would be impossible. I like how Zelda was just like, I'm going to stay behind. That's, that, that's like the Zelda thing, right? <laughs> there are no traps set. Or sorry, there are traps set to snag trespassers. Not to mention that pesky little monster infestation. Is that so? Well, I feel terrible asking, but... Anjin, could you guide Link upstairs? Have you already forgotten what I said? I have my hands full just keeping the towers together. Really? Really, Zelda? You're gonna ask? You're, you're gonna be... The royal princess of the kingdom, and you're gonna ask an old lady in the wheelchair to go up to the monster place instead. <laughs> Can we just acknowledge how, like, hilarious that that premise is right now? <laughs> um, I'm the princess. I wait here. Um, you should go up there. Y you can do it, right? 
She's a ghost? Yeah, well, spirits have power in this place. That's why I call it the spirit tracks. I have my hands full keeping the tower together. I'm sorry, my dear. I just can't leave my post. Or go upstairs. Then what should we do? Should we go back and get Alfonso? Oh, but he's wounded. Teacher, the captain of the, of the guard? I suppose there's no time for that, is there? What if you went with him, my dear? <laughs> that slow head turn. Me? Go, go with him? But, but, but I'm not sure how much I'd, I'd help in this state. Well, my dear, this kingdom is your responsibility. You mustn't ever forget that. I'm sure you'll find a way to help out somehow. <sighs> well, um, all right. We, uh, better get going then, Link. My character's just been like, uh, all right, I guess I'm stuck doing this. <laughs> Past Link was just like, I gotta save my sister. Spirit Tracks Link is just like, um, Zelda says help. We're like, all right, I guess I better. Not like I can go do train stuff anymore. You must ascend the tower and retrieve the rail maps. Okay, then. Guess these are the stairs up. This is the new Temple of the Ocean King. I guess we get a new segment every time we beat a temple and connect uh, their pieces back. He just wants to do the choo-choo thing. That's right. He wants to toot the whistle. So this is what the inside of the tower looks like. Let's head over to that door, Link. All right, let's go. Top screen doesn't really work with this layout. You want to go back to the entrance? Oh, I see. It's a quick elevator. And this is where it should be where Zelda does her... Her, her big thing. So I know a lot of people hate the Temple of the Ocean King. I didn't really mind it too much, but I had some janky moments when I streamed Phantom Hourglass the other year. Um, where do people normally stand on this section of the game? Because this is like the evolution of the Temple of the Ocean King. I think people like this a lot more because of Zelda. This one's much better received. Like this one better. Alright then. Look at those giant doors, Link. Also, listen to this music. Let me turn it up a bit. Excellent. They look really heavy. I don't think one person can open them alone. The phantoms are back, chat. Are you ready to see my see me get my butt kicked? Oh my gosh, what in the world is that? I've never seen a monster as ferocious looking as that one, Link. Let's get out of here, Link. Whoa, even that theme is remixed, I think. Oh, we ran all the way back down. What's the matter? You look as pale as a ghost. <laughs> Get it. Though given the company you've been keeping, perhaps it's no surprise. You've been waiting like a whole five minutes for me to come back, so you could say that. Anji, there was a ferocious monster up there with a great big sword. I don't see how we can possibly defeat it. Sounds like a phantom, my dear. They're the guardians of the Tower of Spirits. Though they look quite sinister, they won't harm anyone with a good heart. I know what I saw. It was definitely after us. Why would it think Link is evil? There is one possible explanation. With the spirit tracks gone, perhaps an evil spirit has possessed the phantom. If that's the case, we might have trouble beating it. Hitting the phantom in the back with your sword should stop it for a while. But first you need to gather all three of the Tears of Light. That will power up your sword and you'll be able to face the phantom. Collect three Tears of Light, then hit the back uh, hit the back of the phantom. Sounds tricky. If anyone can do it, Link can. Alright, let's give it a try, Link. Here we go. Let's try again, all the way back up. I like Phantom Hourglass a lot. I know a lot of people don't. I did a full stream of it, and there's definitely a lot of jank and crust to it, but it's a fun game. 
definitely, I feel like the fact that these games revolve entirely around the, the DS and the touchscreen really did not age very well. Especially since, like, like I'm, I'm streaming this on my Wii U again, if you're joining. I'm using the virtual console. The gamepad lets me touchscreen with its stylus. So, close to OG as I can with actual recording features. Um, but if you try to boot this up on, like, a random emulator, you're not going to be able to play this in a comfortable way at all. Let's see. The Phantom is still here. Let's follow on Jean's instructions. We have to grab all three tiers of light without letting the Phantom see us. I can tell it means business, but we have to be brave. Be a brave teddy chat. This music reminds me of something. There's something strangely calm about this area here. Do you feel it too? Princess Zelda, can you hear me? It's Angine. Angine? Is it Angine? Angine? Anjon? No? Because you can say it like John? You know what I mean. Let me see. There's a puzzle in Phantom Hourglass where you close the DS. How does that work? Um, hang on. If you bring up... It looks weird because of my layout, but, um... If, hang on, let me show you. Show you. Yeah. If you open the Virtual Console menu for this game, it automatically activates sleep mode as if you've closed the DS for a second, and that's how you do that. That's how you do that one puzzle in Phantom Hourglass. You see... Uh, hang on, let me put the layout back. There we go. Yes, it's me, my dear. Listen. The area you are now in is a safe zone, one that is protected by spirits. As long as you are in a safe zone, you are hidden from enemy view. Furthermore, enemies cannot enter safe zones. Make good use of safe zones to hide from the phantoms. Now you have no time to waste, you must find that rail map. Thank you, Angie. Okay, Link, let's get moving. You found a glob of orange juice. Gather three of them to power up your sword. Heck yeah. This music reminds me of something very specific, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, we're gonna need to do this every time, huh? Need to hold it up to the light? Okay, need to hit something for that to work then. Remi kinda reminds me of like a track from Mischief Makers. Can I just hop it? No, I cannot. Still feels very surreal that Link is, um... Link has a different voice clip for this game. Did I miss something up north, like a switch? Maybe her name is supposed to sound like something like Engine. Oh my god, you're right! Everyone is a train pun! It is totally supposed to be like Engine. That's blowing my mind. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, I assumed I could go through that stupidly. Okay, got it. Tear of Light. Gather three of them to power up your sword. That totally flew over my head, but I got coal and burn easily. <laughs> now that you have all three tiers of light, so should I just say her name is Anjin? It's still an A, right? Not an E at the start. I'll say Anjin. How about that? It's a honey sword. Oh! Honey sword like the Teddy! Teddy Ursa's got the power. Now that you have all three tiers of light, your sword is full of vitamin C. Now you can attack a phantom by hitting him in the back. Sections would scare you as a kid. Yeah, they're pretty tense. What just happened? Don't look so scared, Link. It's me, Zelda. I don't know what happened there. But when I saw that phantom corner you, 
I just leaped at it without even thinking. Oh, this is really not my day, is it? First I lose my body, and now I look like a heap of scrap metal. And did I mention it's kind of hot in here? Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Maybe I can be of some use to you like this. It's not exactly what you'd expect from a princess. But right now, that can't really be helped. Come on, Link. Let's get moving. We need to find my body. I mean, that rail map. <laughs> Let's get this door open. We can do it together, Link. There we go. I think, like, Phantom Zelda has kind of, like, become more iconic because it became, like, her move in Smash Brothers. But I feel like a lot of people that have really, have, like, obviously played more Smash more than they've played this game. Because a lot of people did uh, noticeably skip this one. Hang on. Perfect. Now, hang on a second. Sh I think we can open the door. There's nothing she can break right now, right? Come on. No, is there something? Hang on a second. Let me try that corner. There's a switch there. Can she do it? Can't walk across this, can she? I don't think this will work. Nope. Can I talk to you? No. No, she could probably go over the spikes, though. Hang on. There's nothing there, though. Never mind. Let me just look around the damn thing. Call her for now. I hit that. Hmm. Am I overlooking something obvious? Hang on a second. Hello, friends. Because I can't seem to interact with the door. You can't do anything with the door. Nothing down there. Hang on. Oh, now she can. I I totally tried that though. Aw, oh, whatever. Did I not like dr draw her into the door before a few times? <laughs> okay. Whatever. We got it now. Floor two. Bad game out of ten. Okay. Let's find the switch. I don't think you can get through those floor spikes, Link. Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Alright. You can walk through them. Let me get a drink. Oh, thank you there, friend. Hmm. Hang on. Small blonde boy walks around with a child inside a giant suit of armor. Haven't seen that one before. Really, I haven't. I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Get him with the honey sword. Okay. do this. It's been quite a while since we did Zelda. It's been fun, though. Again, like, it, it's been a long while since... Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. She hates the rats. Hang on. Has been a very long while since I did some Zelda. Like, around this time last year. Lots of stuff happened, as I've said before. Many of you will also remember, like, I had that head injury that also, like, um changed a ton of plans for a while as I got used to stuff again. Yeah, let's go. That was around the time I did the last playthrough, which was Skyward Sword HD. Then I just kind of, like, put the Zelda Marathon playlist on hold for a while. Can she fight the phantoms? Try that. There's another phantom, Link. But wait a second. Now that I'm in disguise, maybe I can trick him into thinking I'm on his side. I'll go, I'll go try. There we go. 
People have still been marathoning that Zelda playlist on, um... How goes the patrol? <laughs> yeah. People have been marathoning the Zelda playlist, uh... Tell me they enjoy it and are looking forward to more. I need to hit a switch, though. Oh, it's behind him, I see. Hold up. Nope, stop that. I still want to do some replays for some other versions, like... Um, I've never played Ocarina of Time Master Quest, and I kind of want to replay Majora's Mask, so I can just play the 3DS version. That game is such a fun, t fun time. Can I attack you? Something's different about you today. Is that the other phantom? Yeah. Oh, hey, Jimmy, what's going on? You don't look your like yourself today. No, stop it. Um... That cone is pretty wide. Um, let me see here. Do this, I guess. Hang on. Yeah, I still wanna- I'm still gonna do Minish Cap sometime, don't worry. You seem cuter than usual. Why? Cuter? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. What else can they say? No one's here. Why are we guarding it? How goes the patrol? How goes the patrol? Job is hard on the feet. Go back to your post. Go back to your post. I think he's done talking to me. <laughs> Don't leave without me. Okay, we'll go up here then. Let's do it. Floor three. It's dead now. The honey sword is no longer glazed. Oh, it's so nice to get out of that clanky outfit and go back to my old self. There must be something special about this room. Looks like the light of your sword has disappeared too. You got a rock! The forest rail map. Pretty sure the kingdom is, uh, well documented. Why did we need to find this? Some of the lost spirit tracks on it are reappearing. Because we have a mystical rock, now the tracks are there. Oh. Because magic. I'm scared the gamepad's gonna fall off my lap. Let me just set it on the desk. I think another reason I kind of stopped for a bit, um... Last year, Tears of the Kingdom came out, and I, I can't really stream open world games, right? They're, they're just not a thing I can do as a stream. I gotta, like, play them on my own. And everyone was more hyped for that game than really any other Zelda stuff, so... That's another reason I guess I took a break. That went on much longer than I expected. Ugh. Breath of the Wild and Tears are, like, way, way different from all the other Zeldas anyway. Great job, Link. That must be the rail map Eng Engine was talking about. That's right, get comfy. Get comfy like a bear. What could that blue light mean? This is Engine here. Good work, Princess Zelda and Link. You've done well obtaining the rail map, but you can't go any farther now. Step into the light to return to the tower lobby. Well, you heard her, Link. Let's go. Adventure. You're not comfy and cozy. What are you doing? Talk to her. Ah, so you managed to obtain the rail map. You two just might be able to restore the spirit tracks in every realm. But, uh, uh Anjin, the rail map only has a small part of the spirit tracks on it. Where are the temples you were talking about? In each of the four realms is a temple. Look, my dear, the closest one is here. But I don't think you can make it to the temple right uh, as things are right now. The rail map has imparted energy to a length of the spirit tracks here. But because of the Demon King's power, much of the energy was lost. So we can't go to the temples, Anjin. Not yet, but there is a way to restore energy to the rail maps. 
You can ask my people to help you. Your people? Indeed, we are called the Locomote. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so... I, I guess the chair isn't, like, it's just a thing they all use? We are servants of the spirits. Are they just born without being able to use their legs, or they just use it because it's cool? <laughs> the locomo. They have entrusted us with protecting the temples and the spirit tracks by playing our sacred instruments. Oh, God, Chad, here it comes. Here it comes! Are the wheels supposed to be her feet? <laughs> are they just, like, built like that? They built different? By playing our sacred instruments, we generate energy that powers the spirit tracks. Sacred instruments? Yes, and the spirit flute you hold is one of them. This flute was a gift from my grandmother. I didn't know it had any powers. I'd only heard it was something precious handed down from my ancestors. Yes, and I was the one who gave it to your ancestors. But only under the condition they protect the land for all time. Of course, back then, I didn't think things would take such a perilous turn. I'm glad that after all these years, it has found its way into your hands. I had no idea this flute was so important. My grandmother used to play it for me when I was a little girl. If I was sad or upset, the sound of the flute would make me feel better. But even so, I suppose its rightful place is with you, Anjin. No, you two will have need of it. Please take it with you. For now. You must go find the other locomos and restore the energy of the rail maps. Once you do, the spirit tracks will reappear. Go to the forest first, where you must find the locomo, Gage. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the train puns are funny. South of the forest is a temple. Uh, uh, the forest temple is a sanctuary where you can find Gage. He will be able to tell you where to go next. I get the feeling he's just going to tell me to go north. Got it. Let's go, Link. Oh, but we don't have a train. How are we going to get to the forest? You may take this. My arms! Oof, I'm trying to pick myself up to adjust my seat. Whoa! Cool! An ancient spirit train. That raises so many questions about uh, engineering in this universe. This train is a symbol of the spirits. People don't uh, ordinarily ride it around. But these are no ordinary circumstances. I'm sure the spirits wouldn't mind lending it to you. Stretch, you say? Sure thing. Thank you, Anjin. Let's hop in. I've got a license. Don't worry, chat. I am engineer certified. Ugh. We're going on a funny little adventure. There's something strangely powerful about the rail map you recovered. If you trace your stylus over the tracks, it will set a path to your destination. Go on and try it, Link. Um, okay. Go. Hey, it's this track. Heck yeah! Crap, the train sections are so loud. Oh, just one last thing about the rail map. Should you decide to change your destination mid-course, redraw the travel route. Fortunately, I have enough power to speak with you beyond this point. Be brave, you two. Chat, I'm gonna toot the horn. Look at me! Dreamer can't be stopped, he's tooting. Oh, um... Uh, why would I change it? It's going. My train has four hearts. Do, do, do. Let me just lower the volume here. Holy crap, it's so loud. Look at us go! Check out those wide open fields. We can only use the tracks, though. Do, 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 do. Let's go so far. It's gonna take a while to get there, though. I can't really do anything. Look out, there's an animal! Quick! We saved the animals. We did it again. Uh-oh.
toot the horn to scare the monster away. They're cows slash pigs, I guess. We're gonna go down this way. Don't run over any teddies. I would never. I would never. You know I can't do that. Is that a real thing that, like, the train, uh, train, uh, sorry. Horns and whistles are for, for scaring away animals off the tracks? Okay, let's keep going. I guess it's, in general, it's also for alerting people that there's a freaking train coming, right? Not that people should be walking on tracks to regard, like, regardless. It's also signals, signals issues to a station. I guess, yeah, before the days, you know, they, they had, like, uh... You know, back in the day, they didn't exactly have, like, you know, digital systems to communicate all that stuff back and forth, right? Makes sense. This forest feels odd. Ooh, chat, it's spooky! If I toot the horn, will it be less spooky? Ooh, I haven't saved once, I just realized. I feel like I should do that. Don't remove the game card. Don't worry, I won't. If I had a crash, that'd be devastating. The map only shows this way, though. We're not moving. Oh, is it a Lost Woods thing? Why are we back at the entrance? What should we do? Back in we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Okay, I guess it's a Lost Woods situation. I have to go the right way. We know the first one isn't right. I can't move the camera. There's a dead tree. Let's just try going this way first. There's a dead tree on the left side. Maybe that's the indication? No. Maybe we need a better plan. Maybe we need to stop here and ask around. Because neither direction seems to go that way, so let's do this. Do, 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 do. We're gonna take a train ride. It's gonna be extra cozy. There we go. Now what's this? Whittleton. Caveman land. We made it in one piece, Link. Look at all the trees in this village. I bet it's crawling with bugs here. Maybe. Ew! I can't stand bugs. You'll have to go in without me. I'll wait for you here. It's me and the bugs. On second thought, I think I'll come with you. Oh, I almost forgot to remind you. When you want to get on the train, just tap me. I'll pop up like this whenever you come near the train, just in case. Welcome to Whittleton, the village we forest people call home. You're the one who fixed the rails for us, right? Let me tell you, we were in a real bind before you stepped in. Hang on. What would you like to read about? <laughs> who cares? I sell the lumber the villagers cut. You won't find better quality wood anywhere. This is a shop. Welcome, this is the Forest General Store. We have a lot of items, feel free to check. See something you want, please tap it. Star fragments. Mm, no thank you. See something you want, tap it. I guess I might as well buy the shield. Got a shield, defend yourself from minor attacks by just holding it. Thanks so much. Back anytime. Anytime, they said. Guess we'll ask around for hints. Check out that stump. If you need something, talk to the chief. His house is right behind here. This dude has a framed picture of his tattoo on his wall. Now 
And that's interesting. Whittleton's Chief House. Howdy, I'm the chief of this here village. Word is you brought back part of the Lost Spirit Tracks. We were in a real bind, so we're much obliged to you, young fellow. What? You went to the forest? Oh, it's not called Lost Woods for nothing. You take the wrong route, you end up back outside. Once you do make it through, you'll find the forest's guardian, Gage. Ask the villagers about the forest. They're the ones who know it best. All right, chat. So they're going to want me to write down notes for this, but that's where you come in. This is the interactive part of the stream. You write down things right now. Get out your teddy bear notebooks or else. Okay. No need to deal with the bees. There's not many houses left here. You're going to Lost Woods? Here's a little advice for you. To avoid getting all turned around, listen to the trees, because they talk a lot. Just don't listen to the fourth tree. It makes no sense of the direction. Don't listen to the fourth tree? Okay. Now, I tried both paths, but neither of them work, so I assume the puzzle isn't even attemptable until I've talked to the people here. Attemptable? Is that even a word? Doable? That sounds even less right, but I know doable's a term people use. It has no sense of direction. Okay, the fourth tree is a liar, then. Could be random each time. Also true. What's this? There's a stamp thing, but I don't have a stamp book. Now, oh, come on. Yeah, get a little bump. Am I looking for anything in particular over here? Doesn't look like there's anything I can do. There's something I can lock onto there, but not yet. I guess this is for later. We'll come back later. He said listen to the trees, but are there any other NPCs to speak with? Just to be safe, let me double talk to the chief in case he wanted me to talk to everyone for some reason. No one knows more about the forest. Wait, maybe because I've talked to the chief, now everyone has new dialogue about it. That's probably the answer. Oh, you're going to the forest? Okay, I got it. Here's a little advice. The forest will tell you which way to go. Just pay attention to the tree branches. Okay... So the tree, when I paid attention to the dead tree, it had, its, its branch was pointing right, so maybe it is randomized. Because I went right the first time, but not the second. Everyone in the village respects the forest for what it gives us, that's why we give back. Okay. I sell the lumber. Okay, so only that guy's dialogue changed. So pay attention to the trees and ignore the fourth one. That seems to be all I got here. The guys outside don't seem to change anything. Let's go. A two, three, four. I'm an engineer, chat. I'm certified. Absolutely certified. I guess that's all there is to it. Chat, should I toot the horn or should I toot the horn? I'm tooting. I should speed up a bit. I think the first spirit flute thing is probably coming up, isn't it? Did you make a real prediction for how long it would take? Which has more votes? <laughs> and I'll do it fast or I'll do it uh, in an hour. Let me get a drink. Let's hydrate. Okay. Ignore the fourth tree, that's all. Yeah, we're almost two hours in. I'm only playing this today. I'm doing short streams this week. Because on the weekend... Okay, the tree is pointing right. I'll do that. Alright. Uh, on the weekend, I did two eight-hour streams. And by the end of that, I was absolutely dead. And tired. This game released in, like, 2009, right? Yeah, 2009. Hourglass was, um, 2007 or 6, I think? 
I'm sorry, mods. I didn't mean to go so long. He's still got lots to upload now. Okay, also right. Do like three, uh, just a three to four hour stream during these weeks. Okay, here comes the third tree. Also right. All right then. And now we do the opposite of the fourth one. Also right. I didn't even need to do anything. I just had to, I just had to let it sit there. We did it, everybody. Looks like that's a sanctuary, and that's a puzzle we gotta solve. We finally made it out of there. The forest was so creepy, I thought a ghost might pop out. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Do you understand it? Anjin says that a locomo by the name of Gage lives here. Let's find him. You don't? Damn it. Okay, looks like I need a cuckoo to reach this. So let me just put a little circle there for it. Yeah, if that cuckoo could just fall down, that'd be good, but... Let's have a little look around. Okay, take out the crow. I don't think there's wallet sizes in this game. Just like Phantom Hourglass, you can just hold, like, infinite rupees. Okay. Move that. Grab some extra rupees. We might want to get a potion or something later. First dungeon should be relatively easy, though. Hang on, I don't see any... bomb trees yet. Or bomb plants. I wonder if that could reach it. We'll hit this first. Well, now I fall. Okay, so I need to get a bomb ready to explode at the switch, and then go grab the other bomb. That's why there's two plants. Okay, I almost walked off. I was too fast. Okay, sick. We got that. Now what's this? Uh, blue-red? It looks like a rocket ship. Blue red, chat. Blue red. There's a stamp thing. I think this right here is for when I have actual bombs to open a shortcut. I feel like I could just barely make the throw from over there. Can I take the flute out here? I don't think I can, right? Oh, wait, I can. Uh-oh. Hey, I did it. It worked. I have to awkwardly blow into the gamepad. You learned a sick flute solo. It is a rocket ship! I was joking. Yawn! That was a nice nap. That song just now, was it you who played it? And I'll give you this valuable piece of information. Listen well. The song you just played is called The Song of Awakening. Guys like me are scattered all over the place. If you play that song, it will tell you valuable information. Oh, God. Oh, and you can also check the song on the collection screen. That way you can practice it whenever you want. And it's there. And if that's that, see ya. Song of Awakening. Not the Sonata of Awakening. Alright. Now what do we have here? Connect the two stone statues that face each other. Oh, okay, I gotta actually look at it then. Okay. So let's just go ahead and... Hang on. Down. Uh. I'll just draw a little... Bad little arrows here. Make it easier for ourselves. I can read my own writing. It's fine if it doesn't look good. 
Okay, it's these two. Easy. Do I even need to look at the other ones anymore? Yeah, I don't. What a puzzle mark. Oh boy. That song was easy. That doesn't count. We're gonna get to the points where we gotta do the fun songs, right? Hang on. Can I still get dizzy from this? Yes, I can. Ooh. What? Yeah, okay. Hello, Gage. Got that Bob Ross looking afro. Are you Gage? Gage of the Locomos? Why, yes, I'm Gage. He seems quite a bit more informal than an engine, doesn't he? What was that just now? You got something to say? Let's. I'd like to hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Actually, Anjan sent us to speak with you. Oh, yes, of course. You're the youngsters with that wonderful flute. And you're here to restore the spirit tracks to the forest temple, yes? Dumb. I mean, yes, of course. We need to recharge the Tower of Spirits with the energy of the forest. Yes, that rail map of yours can't do it alone. You need more spirit tracks. Well, there's a way. Would you like to hear it? Nah. We'll never make it to the forest temple like this, Link. Let's listen to what he has to say. To restore the tracks that disappeared, you need to know a special song. Oh, no. The Locomo Song is a, is a duet that requires two sacred instruments. My cello and your spirit flute should do the trick. With both instruments playing the song, we can restore the rail map's energy. Shall we try? Yes. Best of luck to you, Link. You're going to need it. I should really be the one playing the spirit flute, but I can't do it in this state. I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job, though. Yeah, this should count. Try to play the song? Let's. Alright, let's practice a bit before we launch the real thing. The song has two parts, each of which is played by a different instrument. For now, just follow my lead. I'm gonna start by teaching you how to play the spirit flute. Slide the spirit flute so the note you want to play is in the middle of the screen. Then blow into the microphone to play the note. Good. Now I'll teach you your part. For this song I'm about to play, imitate me as closely as you can. Pay attention to the timing. Okay. Red, yellow, purple. When you've had enough practice, tap the arrow to rest a bit. It's not registering it. It's not registering it. Come on. This is exactly how I remember it. Not working. A good time to mention that I also have asthma, too. I'm trying to get a good angle of the of the gamepad. For the real, I didn't even get to finish it. For the real performance, you'll play that part after I play my part. It goes you, me, you in that order. Don't mess up the timing, you hear? You ready? No. <laughs> oh boy.
Come on. I'm like basically kissing my freaking gamepad to get it to register the blow. Hmm. Oh boy. Remember rubbing the mic and it works sorta? Um. No, I'm not ready. I know the notes, but it won't register the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to have to try. Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get distracted. No, that's not the problem. The problem is damn DS innovation. That's the problem. Uh, hmm. I tried rubbing the microphone. It doesn't register it enough. I have to, like, blow it or something. Oh, come on. I tried blowing continuously and gently, and that was working better. Oh, boy. That should have worked. That was close. I think I found the right angle to hold the gamepad and uh, the way to blow. Okay. Ah! <sighs> Damn it! It does not read screams. That doesn't work. Uh, it won't register the purple one now. Come on. That last one was so good. What? What? How did that one count? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I hate this game, man. <laughs> Why did that one count, but that earlier one didn't? How does this- who programmed this thing? <laughs> oh, chat, we're gonna need, like, a compilation of me failing the spirit flip, aren't we? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now. This series, I'm not editing out the spirit flip failures. We're gonna, we're gonna sit there and watch me struggle with this. <laughs> I know there's a lot more of these, right? This was the easy, was easiest one. You can play the duet with Gage, the Locomo, the Forest Realm. The Forest Realm map has started glowing. People tell me they want me to keep more um failure stuff in. <laughs> I try to edit stuff out to save time because I don't want to waste people's time. But people are like, no, we want to see it anyway. All right, give the good teddies what they want. Compilation of my blows. Now listen now. <laughs> the forest rail map has started glowing. New tracks have appeared. All right. Hmm. 
Wonderful, wonderful. The tracks of the forest temple have been restored. I. It's a good thing I keep my inhaler nearby at my desk, because I feel like I'm going to need this. Do we count the practice? I'd say that counts. That was that took some time. Wonderful, wonderful. The tracks of the forest have been restored. You're a natural at that, Link. And you sounded really good, too. Let's head to the forest temple. Thank you so much, Gage. Good luck. Be careful. The forest temple can be very dangerous. Was that Makara's cello? Was it? I didn't even... I wasn't looking at his instrument. Hmm. Ugh. Reused assets in this game? No, no, no. Okay, we did that. Let's hop down and leave. Leave in the forest, everybody. Alright, gotta talk to you. Would you like to leave? Sure. Tracks of the forest temple have been restored. Let's go. The microphone on the DS is infamous for breaking, so a lot of people could not f even finish this game because of this. Hang on. I know people said they couldn't finish um, Bowser's Inside Story because it's required to blow in the microphone for his uh, fire breath during that one part. Let's do it. Let me see. People bet a lot of points on those teddies. Hang on. That's a Skulltua. Hang on, let me turn this up. Oh, faster. Excellent. Oh, come on. Yeah, in the remake, they took out the microphone requirement. They definitely, like, listened, but no one played that remake. Do, 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 do. What, if you were to put this game in a 3DS, does the 3DS microphone work any better for this game in Phantom Hourglass, I wonder? There we go. Think so? Don't think 3DS worked better for you. Yes, yes. Try the 3DS, it was worse for you. Okay. Seeing mixed opinions about this. DS microphone is always, like, really weird. Because, like, you don't blow into it. You have to, like, blow a very specific way for it to count. At least in my experience with the DS games that do that. Plus, people seem to say the mic quality differs depending on if you're using a DS Lite or DS OG. And I find that some game, depending on the game, some stuff is harder or easier. I don't know. So this is the Forest Temple. Are you ready for what's to come? Of course. Good, then let's go. Alright, let's see if we can do the first temple. We're just over two hours into this. This has been a fun stream so far. I hope you're all enjoying. It's easy. That one's easy enough. That one's easy. Just imagine me holding my freaking Wii U gamepad up to myself like I'm playing the flute like Link is there. <laughs> um, let's see. There's nothing here to wake up. What? Really? Okay. I guess we can't wake that up. Sounds, it's a, is it a new song? Hold up. Oh, it is a new song. Green, white, green. <laughs> yeah! Wicked flute solo. Hey, it's Sila. Hiya, thanks for summoning me. As a reward for you awakening me, I'll lend you my power one time. If you're close to running out of life, play this song and I'll come rescue you. Nifty, huh? Oh, one more thing. You can't summon me anywhere. Only a place with strong energy like a temple or a tower of spirits. Okay. We're forgoing this instead of getting a bottle. You got the song... That is not the song of healing. Come on now. That is... I... You know, no, 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 no. How dare you pretend that's what that is. Play it in a dungeon and restore your hearts one time. They could have, like, 
called it literally anything else. Check it out on the collection screen. I don't think I'm ever going to play it. Wait, so I can play that whenever? Is Chat, listen. Listen. Actual dungeon music. Instead of, like, the six notes of cave music that every Phantom Hourglass temple has. Okay, let's do it. Rupees. Okay. Let's have a little look around. Oh, these things are back. Cool. Switch over there. Nothing there. You can see a switch right there, but I have nothing to... Hang on, I can just pick these up to throw, can I? Nope. Hang on. Let me just double check and make sure it's the railing can work. Yes, there we go. Oh, boy. Yeah, a lot of people are probably going to see this game for the first time. Well, like they are right now. And on YouTube. I'm sure it'll be cozy. Oh. Get the rats! Got that music. Go, go, go. Now, is this the dungeon item, or is it going to be a key? I don't know, because I have no items at all. I just have a sword and shield. A big green rupee, okay. Well, that's not what I expected. By the way, I should also mention again right quick. Hang on, I should save. In case. One of the things I want to use my Wii U for, for streams in the future, I've been putting this off for a while, but before the eShop closed, I bought and downloaded, um all three Pokemon Ranger games, so I can actually stream those with proper touchscreen mechanics off my Wii U. And I want to do that, because I've never really played through all those games. Just a bit of the first one before. I wonder how those would do, because sometimes Pokemon spinoffs are super hit or miss, but Pokemon Ranger is one of those games you literally can't really stream it on emulator, unless you got the Wii U version, I guess. Do they have the DLC missions? I assume not, because they were Wi-Fi. I know, obviously, you can't transfer Pokemon from it. Oh, I keep bumping into it. I'm trying to move away. Get away. And what do we got here? You got the whirlwind. Blow it. Oh! <laughs> Blow into the mic to send a cyclone in the direction you're facing. Hang on. I want to test something. Can I do it? Can I get away with doing a tap on this one? Kind of. Couldn't I have gotten like a boomerang or something first? I have to like angle the gamepad for it to, for it to register a blow. Okay, at least this one, it seems to be very responsive. Like, if it, if it detects literally any microphone input, even slightly, it gives the full thing. So they knew. Okay. I wonder if there's also a button. No, you can't do any buttons for it at all. Hit it. Oh, I have to awaken you, don't I? All right, here we go. It better be worth it to wake this boy up. You play the Song of Awakening. Yawn, that was a nice nap. You look like you want to know where to find- Oh, no. So this is something that Phantom Hourglass also did, right? So Phantom Hourglass dungeons did not have a compass. So what they did instead is they had a gossip stone that you pay, and he shows you where the, ch where the chests are on your map so that you write down where they are and uh don't forget them because otherwise the compass would be kind of dumb because they wanted they wanted you to write stuff down for the ds zelda game so this was their um way of doing it i see well whatever do what you want i find it pretty lame and annoying to do that okay hang on so i can go back the other way or was that sealed Okay, we can. Let me just double check here.
I'm gonna be so out of breath by the end of this damn game. Stealtho Skull. It's kind of icky. I need to clean up this mess. It's important. <sighs> I I can I can just give a light blow. More useful than the link to the past compass. Yeah, I guess. Can I blow that? I can. All right then. At least this thing is responsive. It doesn't feel like the whirlwind doesn't feel finicky at all. It's actually working. Wish I could just use a damn button for it, though. Okay. Oh, I see. Eat puzzles. There are some repeat items from Phantom Hourglass, I think, but there are some new ones that are kind of cool, I think. Got a small key. Open the shortcut. Practice a bit there. Ugh. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hang on. Let's go get the goop up there. All the people watching with me in the background, right? Your your parents will walk by or whatever and be like, why why is that guy just blowing into his microphone over and over? If I had to blow into the, the actual recording microphone, it would be weird, but I don't know how it's even sounding to you guys when I blow into the gamepad next to the microphone. Is that a stamp thing? Stamp station, but you don't have a stamp. D did I miss getting a damn stamp book or something? <laughs> I think I did. Yes. Where was that at? Because I was talking to the people at the start in town and all that. Okay. Yeah, you can tell me where it is. Maybe I'll get it next time. Nico? I talked to Nico multiple times, though, before I left. Am I supposed to go all the way back there and he gives me one again? Guess so. I'm not gonna awaken you. You're a jerk. It takes too long to play the song anyway, because I gotta w watch the animation each time. Okay, I see what to do. Oh, this is what this mechanic needed. Moving enemies while I struggle with the mic. Oh, boy. I think he gives it to you after the dungeon. Oh, then why is there a stamp thing in here, then? They expect me to backtrack for it, I guess. Zelda games really overestimate how badly anyone wants to backtrack for collectibles sometimes. What do you mean all the players don't want the gold sculptures? Everyone wants them. That guy will give you lots of money that you have nothing to spend on. Never understood the purpose of that. Look, you got all the sculptures. You can get money. That grass was shaking. Someone's was supposed to blow on or something. Hold up, is there anything here? This looks like a dead end. Hmm. Need another key. Hang on, I guess I'll go upstairs first. Why isn't Zelda shrieking? I see what to do. I can see the boss key on the map. Thank goodness this is working. I get the feeling this is the dungeon where I'll need to use this the most, and then just passively throughout the rest of the game. The grass isn't shaking now. Was it a glitch before? No, I can't do anything with the grass. I, I There was clearly a grass tile shaking, right? I didn't hallucinate that, I hope. get money while we can. 20 rupees is too much for damn stuff. Probably a visual glitch. Whoa. Like how the door is like just Ganon's face. Oh, it's a moth. Let's kill it. 
Raise your sword, Tennies. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to pull it, blow it back? Do I have to outblow him? I think I do. I can't blow it back. Unless it's not registering it in time. No, it doesn't register a se another blow until the first whirlwind is done. Okay. Get up, buddy. Send something at me already. Come on. Okay, that's all I gotta do. We did it! And he dropped a red ruby. Yay! Oof. I have to say, my left hand is actually really tired right now. I had the same issue with Phantom Hourglass, right? So, for those that don't have a Wii U, now the gamepad isn't heavy, but um, when I have to hold the entire thing up with my um, left hand, so I can also like angle myself to talk into my, uh, my recording microphone, um, it gets pretty tired just holding half this damn thing up while I use the stylus on the, on the gamepad. I know, poor me. My poor left hand is so tired, but this thing is a lot heavier than the DS, which is... <laughs> which you normally hold with one hand while you touch screen. Just pointing that out. There we go. Do it. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Heck yeah, he dropped that. It's mine now. Let's have a look around. These patterns matter. Another reused asset. Look at that keyhole, Link. I think you'll need a special key to unlock it. This was a pretty damn short dungeon. Then again, Phantom Hourglass dungeons were pretty short, too. Didn't really understand, un overstay their welcome, I guess. We've been in here for like 15 minutes, I think. Okay, there's the key. Came from there. I guess we gotta go over to the big blob of purple. Hey, yeah, it's the first one. Worms. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Hang on. That's clever. Oh, come on. That should be good enough. A chest. We got a Rudo crown. All right. We still got those. I don't think there's a single person that wants me to wake the gossip stone every time, because I'm pretty sure all of them are just going to be like, do you want to pay me money to see the chest remaining on the floor? I don't think they do. I believe this is also the game that introduces the big blends, right? They're in Hyrule Warriors, so... Let's see. I want to go back to that game. I took a break from it again. Okay, nice. Oh, hang on. Oh, it didn't go all the way. Enough. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. The game would be amazing for randos with all the trash chests. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, getting a comfortable way to play it, you'd essentially have to, like, download it, download the randomized save on an R4. A lot of extra hassle to actually play. That big key looks like it will open the door from the center of the room. Let's take it over. What's this? Looks like a map of the room. Okay, it wants me to take a specific path. 
What are these skulls and what does the arrow mean? Okay, hang on. Go over, under, that. There we go. I'm gonna just draw a little. Little bear in the corner. Can't really add many details because it's DS. It's not a rat! Stop it! It's supposed to be a little bear, okay? There we go. <laughs> Alien mouse. Come on, it, it, it's DS touchscreen emulated on Wii U. It's not the most accurate thing in the world. Follow the path, chat. Follow the path. Is it just saying don't walk on the, um... Don't walk on the swirly tiles? Yeah, that's all it means, I guess. Oh, did I... I think I walked on it slightly. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh no, we've been caught. They're gonna take the key. We gotta get away from them. Oh no, I'm scared. Well, at least we see what it is now. Boss door unlocked. The boss block. Do that. So whatever the boss is, I'm gonna have to make use of my little windy thing to do it. Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance, in case you need to go prepare for it. Okay. Dynamic boss room? It's a big beetle! I had the volume turned down for a little bit, sorry. Oh, now it's too loud. The mixing is weird for this game. Hit the butt. The butt is stinky. Stag Nox. Okay. The top screen stuff doesn't really work with this layout, but it's fine. Blow on the stinky butt. Just be careful. Blow away the farts. Darn it. Okay, I can't really do a spin in this angle. No big deal. Oh, he's one hit away. Phase two, boyo. He's flying. Okay, do I gotta watch the top screen for him? To oh, I see what I gotta do now, okay. I gotta watch the top screen now. Let's see where he is. He dives down. Do I put him down like that and hope he swipe sweeps into him? Okay, I, I guess I need them in front of me and wait for the swoop down. I was kind of expecting like a tornado or something to make them rise. All right, let's wait. Do your little sweep.
Okay, that's easy enough. Just takes an annoying ass time. Just gonna wait for more of them to get spit out. This one should do it again. I did it! The big beetle is dead, chat. Beetle hours are over. Oh, hey, I got a force gem. That thing they really tried to force during this era. Oh, let me get a drink after all that. I didn't miss any notifications during that, did I? I was kind of focused. <laughs> yeah, focused on the easy baby boss. Didn't They didn't turn into sand for the hourglass. Oh, yeah. Look at all those happy teddies in chat. I got a Google Maps marker. Ooh. Fancy! Whoa! Amazing! <clears throat> Ouch. I hope I don't have to do another spirit flow thing today. We can maybe leave that next time. For the next temple. Alright. Hydrate, streamer. Hydrate, indeed. Whoa! Ooh. My arms are sore. We did it. The thing is back together. Hi, Monard. How you doing? Now that's cozy. Good job, Link. Oh, hang on, ch second chat. I just noticed something. My gamepad just started going into red battery mode. Not even, like, low battery. It just immediately jumped to almost dead battery. I need to plug it in. The batteries in these things just are all over the place once you, like, have them for a few years. Gamepad batteries are, like, infamous for sucking. Good job, Link. The forest rail map started glowing. That... And that was a big chest. Look, Link. We can return to the temple entrance from there. Let's go back. You got a heart container. Miss your life by one. Cool! To the trains! Can we get going? Yes. Okay, let's go. Imagine if you had to use the, the flute to open a chest. That would suck. Toot toot! Oh yeah, we gotta go all the way back now. I don't really want to go back to Nico, but maybe I should, because the stamp thing is going to annoy me if I don't get it, right? Yeah, go. Faster! Faster! The rails are now blue. Super blue rails. Once again, it gets really loud when we're here. Hang on. Spider! Toot the horn! Stamp out that side quest. It's already going the way I want, so... I don't need to adjust anything. Alrighty. I wish the train could go a little bit faster, though, not gonna lie. Yeah, Miguel. Would a spider even care about the horn noise? Maybe. All the way to the bottom. Oh, come on. 
I don't have a cannon. All I can do is toot the horn and sit here and watch. Go, go, go. Too bad we don't have an engineer, Teddy, for this stream. But by the time we get it, it, get it, it wouldn't work. Do this. Fast forward it. Friend, this isn't an emulator. There we go. We're gonna go see Nico, and he'll give us a stamp thing. I'm not going back to the forest temple. Toot, toot, toot! Oopsie. I can toot the horn. That's about it. Monsters just be chilling. And is that a bunny? That's a little bunny. It's a bunny. Boy. Toot toot toot. The bunny is just lurking back there, being a little buddy. Can we find bears though? I can't even draw on the map while the train goes. The train pauses when I do that. Stop. Ouch. Come on. You gotta you gotta do an actual stop for it to work. Bonk. Oh, Link, this tiny village you call home is lovely. Though I don't know if I could live here. There's only two houses. Well, another one if you can't have this. I can't open this door, though. Anyone say anything new? Hey, look who's back! How's the ceremony, Link? Wait a second, have you- your engineer clothes always been that green? Go in here. Oh my, you're a full-fledged engineer now. Graduating's only the beginning, and I wish you the best. Did you get, uh, go tell Nico yet? Stuck. Can't slip by the rocks there, no siree. Hey there, Link. How's the ceremony? So you're finally a real engineer. Oh, this is a happy day. Say, why are you dressed like a soldier? It's strange. You look just like a friend of mine from when I was a young man. Hi there, Link. Oh, he's not going to say anything? Okay, so I still can't get stamps. A little lame. Link in Nico's house. Oh, we lived together, and he didn't even recognize me until I have the uh, green clothes. The beach sand slows me down. Damn, there's like nothing here then. Huh? Why are you dressed up in the soldier getup, Link? Hey, well, I guess that's that. I don't think you can miss the stamp book entirely. That'd be a huge oversight. We must restore the spirit tracks. All right, well, I tried talking to him, and it didn't do anything. All we got was a little bit of lore, so now we're just going to have to go to the, the thing. I don't want to bump into any trains. It's okay, so it's still later in the game, then. All right, we're going to activate... Speedy train, and we're gonna wait, I guess. There's not really a whole lot for me to do on the train, except toot the horn when something gets in the way. I could pay attention to the trains ramming into me, but I kind of don't care. Do, 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 do. Go, train boy, go. Too bad he can't just shoot at the birds. Attack the seagulls with the bomb cannon. Boop, boop, boop. Can read chat. Yes, I can read chat. I'm just saying, it takes kind of forever. At least the ocean maps were kind of tiny in uh, Phantom Hourglass, so it didn't take that long. Hey, the trains aren't moving. You're right. I guess I better go around them. Boop, 
Trains can't jump either. Uh-oh, here they come. <sighs> Evil trains. Holy crap. Got a face now. Maximum overdrive. Redeem toot horn. Hang on, I'll toot the horn. You can't tell me not to toot the horn. What was that? I don't know what just happened, but it doesn't look good. Let's stay away from those trains. I think that would be best. Horn has been tooted. What happened to the people inside the trains? Ah, uh, they got killed, probably. Hang on. Probably best to do this. To move across that one. Oh, hang on. We can see what path it's actually going, so this should work fine. Everyone toots every now and then. Toot your horn and you'll be safe. I don't think they can reach me. Oh, they're gonna reach me, aren't they? Uh-oh. Oh, they're gonna sandwich me. Damn, chat, I guess this is it. It was nice knowing all of y'all. <laughs> they got me sandwiched now. I'm tooting on my own terms. Link. Oh, the other one turned at the last second. I could have gone reverse. No, I think they're too fast. Toot. I am dead. Continue. Oh, I'm all the way back here, huh? That's annoying. I should probably stop at Whittleton then. Just so I have a checkpoint. Damn, that's annoying. Instant death on those things. All right, chat, let's go. I gotta sit here and toot the horn. This is fun, a lot more fun than uh, controlling a boat, that's for sure. Heck yeah. Train crashes are lethal, really? I thought they were epic. Which way is it going? Oh, crud. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around it like this. They're kind of gravitating towards me. Okay, he's turning that way, so hang on. We might be able to just, like, go past him and stop at Whittleton anyway. To Whittleton we go. I kind of always wanted to ride a train. I wanted to ride one of those trains where, like, you just kind of, like, sleep in the cabin while it rains outside or there's a snowstorm. That sounds, like, peak cozy. Like, you know, like, one of those, like, uh, train rides you can pay for and you just ride it for a few days? Dude, I would totally do that if I had the money. Just take, like, a vacation, pack, like, my Switch or something, and just chill in the cabin playing video games on a train ride. And then I come back to the real world after completely uh what am i doing i don't need to be here i just wanted the checkpoint if i stop in here yeah 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 taking trains across europe is 100 percent a genuine vacation that's nice oh boy Let's see okay he's going that way i think it should be safe to go here then let's try going to castle town Let's toot the horn. Boo -boo. Boo -boo -boo. You would feel cramped and overstimulated. I I think it would be cozy. All right. It's going that way. We don't have to worry about Lost Woods no more. It's on speed up. Happy fun times ahead, everyone. I'm genuinely worried. I think my gamepad will probably die before my Wii U does. I still have quite a few games I can stream off my Wii U. Donkey Kong 64 might eventually be added to uh, Switch Online, but I have it downloaded on this to play. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like the, the insta-kill train's going that way, so here's what we're gonna do. It looks like we'll generally be safe if I take this path. Yeah, okay, we can get back to it. Watch out for the trains, chat. Be careful. Everything is cool. All right, they can't reach us. We're safe. Wait, what? No, I said we're safe. Their paths clearly say they're not going to us. Let's go. All the way to the end. All right, we're safe. I don't think I need to toot the horn or anything. We can just leave it. All the way over. It just wanted to spook me. Jump scared by train theme. The train is pretty spooky. I'd be spooked. This is why they're gonna have to... Hyrule is gonna have to, like, reorganize everything to make it looking good. Hang on a second. Isn't Phantom Zelda in Hyrule Warriors? I didn't really get to, Even though I've played, like, a thousand hours, I have not even, like, attempted to use some of the late DLC characters because I haven't played their maps. Oh, she is? That's cool. <laughs> that game is just has that much freaking crap for me to do. Okay, we made it back to the tower. We're gonna go see Engine Girl. Yeah, I haven't even started the started the uh, Phantom Hourglass Spirit Track map. I literally did some of the Wind Waker ones. They're so long, so much to do. Okay, let's head upstairs, I guess. Look, Link. The stairs go up higher than they did last time. Let's go to the new floor and find the next rail map. Let's do it. Can I take this up, or... Oh, I see. This is like a hub staircase. I understand. So you don't have to replay the entire thing every single time, like, uh... Temple of the Ocean King. Let's do that. Whew, looks hot in here. Getting into one of these clanky suits of armor is the last thing I want to do. But I'll do it if you think it'll help. Please? Well, I'm not looking forward to this. I hope I can endure the heat. Okay, that thing is looking fancy. Oh. Now it's spitting fire. I didn't realize it was waiting to do that. Oops. Oops. Let's do it. So, chat, I can, st I can still blow... I don't think that intimidates them very much, though. Can't hurt them with until my sword is honey-glazed. Oh! Okay. You registered movement there. That's annoying. Looks like they just walk through the lava. They're telling me that Zelda can do that, essentially. Okay, nothing there. Grab some honey. Honey is for the bears. You got a pirate necklace. Cool. The gemstones in it look like those gemstones that Leon fits into the necklaces in a RE4 remake. How long am I planning to go for? Um, I'm almost at three hours. I think I might just finish this this section here and see how I feel. Again, I'm doing some shorter streams this week, both to give myself some me time and some time to work on some other non-stream things. I've got more VTuber art on the way, chat. I'm looking forward to showing that off. Hopefully, hopefully it can be one good for a BRB screen. Let's see, Tear of Light. Now that you have the honey glaze, your sword is full of honey. Now you can attack a phantom by hitting them in the back. Back attack, back attack, back attack, back attack, back attack, back attack. Are you gonna... Is this locking me in until I kill a phantom? I think it is. 
I have to let the Phantom come over here and make more scene transitions. Yeah, that'd be cool to implement. We can do that, Miner. Yeah, I need to learn over here. They want me to do this so that Zelda inhabits this one. Get in. Oh, oh, sorry. I hit the ZL or ZR. That activates that menu. Hey, look, now I'm a phantom. I can walk through fire and lava. Hehe, <laughs> I'm like a walking, talking shield link. I like how giddy she looks when she does that. Okay, so... Hang on. Was there, like, a button somewhere for this? Oh, right, she can block the fire. That's what they meant. Okay. I was overthinking it. Okay. That's that there. Let Link chill here for a second. He's gonna need to be the one that goes through, um... The fire. No. Don't lock onto him. Now she doesn't care how hot it is. Is it still gonna lock onto him? Or follow the path I drew? Okay, good. Zelda, you move so slow. Wish I could see the map ahead before I do a little path there. This armor can withstand with... Oh, I have to ride on her for it? Okay, just tap me to jump aboard, double tap. Remember, you can only climb from someplace high like a platform. Hang on. No, no, no. That would be very, very dangerous, but okay, let's do it. That phantom's gonna get out of the damn way now. I gotta wait for him to move. I was assuming I needed to find a switch for her to activate, like, a bridge or something. Later, chump. Okay, we'll do that. I appreciate how it shows the arrow, too. It, like, stuff like that is, it makes it more viewable as a stream. Of course, it, even without a stream, it's kind of a necessity, isn't it? Hang on. Okay, I can get off. Oopsie. Hang on. Just use the call button. Coming! Lime! Okay. She'll follow behind. Um, alright, we need to, her to get off there, so we'll do this. How they get lava in the tower? You can say that about any lava in video games. How did they get it there? It's just there. Okay. So he can get knocked off, but he appears on Zelda again. Okay, good. Hang on. That's one. Could be another one over here. Okay. Kind of awkward to do that there, but it's working. Thank goodness the frickin' blower is, uh, responsive. Hang on. Ah! Oh my goodness. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get out of the damn way! Kill that bat! Oh, now this is blocking it. Get it! Oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs> Register, microphone. I just told you it would be good. Did I get it? Okay, good. Let's just ride up the stairs now.
Oh boy, rupees. That's my favorite thing ever. No, don't push me in! Zelda, great job. I didn't think she'd be able to shove me in. <laughs> Move it, you're in the way. Okay, we've done that. I guess we can just move on here now. Ugh, let me get a drink while this happens. I'm gonna die. Follow me. Okay, we need a key. And I need some hearts. Hmm. Looks like there's something over there, so we'll probably need to take her in here. Okay. Can't go up here because it's elevated. Hmm. Can I hop off there? I'm not convinced. Hold up. Guess we're about to find out. Why is there a middle path, though? No, it's too high up, apparently. Which means I need another item for this, probably. Or I need to activate something else first. Come on, you're you're close enough. Any pots? Wait for me. Why don't you hurry it up then, brat? That's it. Oh wait, what? Not even a phantom, just a tiny little little thing. Was this thing supposed to run around, and I was supposed to corner it with Phantom Zelda? Oh my god, I was. I just skipped the whole ass puzzle because I wandered in at the right time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wow. Uh, girl, come on. She's stuck. She can't figure out how to get the stairs. Speedrunners wish they had that. Uh, girl, you okay? There we go. She having a little trouble with that. A little bit of trouble. She doing okay. Sequence breaking. That's that's really funny. I, I genuinely, like... You just know there would have been a whole-ass explanation when we walked down here where Zelda's like, hey, what if we try and corner that thing? Or some crap like that. Let me see. Hey, you're, you're right next to me. Come on. Lore 6. I like how she has to duck. Uh-oh. Fish boys. Eek! What is that disgusting monster? Phantoms are terrifying, but at least they're not as revolting as that thing. Let's fight them together, Link. Okay, uh... Yeah, lock onto him, please. Damn it. Lock on to him when I... Ah. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do in the first place. Come on. Need some distance. Hold still. Damn it, he's turned around too fast now. This feels really awkward to do, I have to say. <sighs> Come on. Would you, like, stop going towards me? Oh, now you're hitting him multiple times. She usually just hits him once, and then she, like, pisses off into her path again. You see that? She was finally, like, engaging it more than for more than one swipe at the end. <laughs> oh, boy. We did it! When we work together, nothing out there can stop us, right, Link? Maybe I was trying to draw her path again too early. Close to death. I should have went for those pots right away. Oh, right. Uh, come along. Just whistle at her. Eddie hugs indeed. We're doing great. 
Okay, there's a mini blin on top of that. Okay. Hang on. Can't ride on top of you here. Zelda, are you gonna hit it? Okay. Doesn't look like I can do anything with this right now. Hang on, I'm gonna do this right here. Get Link safe. And just have you stand in front of this. Uh-oh. Block the shield. Hang on, I think I know what they want now. I think I know what they want me to do. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna spell it out for me. I bet you could hop on top of my shield from that perch. <laughs> okay. He's in a rough spot here, though. Get him. Guess we can't kill him like this. Okay, now that thing's gonna go. I guess she can't swipe with her sword while she's doing that. Okay, so now that we've done that, I guess we can just call her. Oh, great. Okay, hang on. We're not done here. I'm gonna go ahead and assume if I blow them off the top of it, I don't need to hop down and finish it off. I can just, like, do that. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. It's a good thing that you can hold down L and R buttons to, like, activate the, um, the item. So I can just focus on that. Oh, we're stuck on it. Of course we are. Let's see. No, they get back on. No! Ah, I can't get both of them now. So I really gotta go all the way back there just to hop on it again? That's- that's really annoying. Ugh. Get your butt over here then, girl. Oh, I double hopped it. Okay, hang on. I feel like the mini blend should just die when I blow it off. This seems a little unnecessary. I don't think I can swing my sword. Oh, I can! <laughs> I can spin slash, at least. Oh, there we go. You just can't do the normal sword, sword action. You can only side swipe and spin. Damn it, I wish I realized that. Okay, I get it now. Probably easier to just spin while she's doing this. Okay, good. Now we've done that. Oh, I see. The top one's gonna blow the fire off me, so I gotta be- I gotta time that one. Let's do it. Go. Alright, so we need to be up here so Link can do this. Can I pick it up as Zelda? You got a small key. Use this to open locked doors. Okay. By the way, the next planned Spirit Tracks stream was probably going to be Saturday. Um, I'm making this, like, my next game to kind of, like, where I kind of, like, do multiple streams of it in a week to try and finish it. I'm trying to do that with some more of the longer games, for sure. Ah, whatever. Good enough. 
We're done here. Earthbound, I was doing like two long streams of it per week, and we got through that one really fast. Some games like Pikmin 251, though, I have to take long breaks from, because holy crap, that last cave I did, the 15 floor one with several bosses, I'm like, I don't even want to play this for like a week or two <laughs> once I was done that. There's like 27 freaking treasures in that one. Oh, right, we're done. Okay, cool. It's all icky and green. The honey glaze is no more. I'm back to the way I was before, Link. That must mean the rail map's in this room. Pick it up. I'm tapping. You got the snow rail map. Okay, so we got the ice temple next. I'm guessing the other ones are going to be like volcano and desert. Some of the lost spirit tracks on it are reappearing. So the map's like that because the spirit tower is in the center. Let's leave. Oof, I need to like stretch my fingers on my left hand. <laughs> Holding this gamepad up is sure, sure is hard work, chat. Gosh, I hope y'all realize this. Ah, so you've retrieved the second rail map. Your next class task is clear. You must go to the snow temple and restore the flow of energy to the tower. Find the snow sanctuary where the locomo steep <laughs> Steam, chat. His name is Steam. Resides and talk to him. He'll help you open the way to the temple. Let's go. Very well, be careful. Okay, then. Cool ass spirit tower. They found Tetra found this land and was like, hey, can we build a kingdom around this? And she was like, alright, just make sure you watch out for the demon shackled inside the uh inside the tower here. Don't worry about it. Oh, it looks like it takes a damn while to get there, doesn't it? If that's the case, let's stop in Castletown. See if there's something we can pick up here right now. I like the store or something. Such an esteemed name. Because I feel like we've reached a good stopping point. Uh oh Get out of here, boars. That castle popping in right there. Really? Really? This keeps up. Our train's going to explode. Maybe we should go back to Castletown. Oh, I see. They want me to stop at Castletown. They're teaching me to get the bombs. Toot toot. Okay. It's been so long since I've been home. It's only been a couple hours. Calm down. I wonder how Alfonso and Teacher are. My favorite character in Zelda, Teacher. I don't think there's anything the, the little blowy thing is going to get me. Can I stop in a shop? Yeah, this is the shop right here. What do they sell? Oh, no, it's, no, it's you. This one's green. What's this? Hello there, my green friend. How are you? This is where we play Take Them All Out. As the name suggests, your mission is to knock down every enemy in sight. Now make no mistake, this isn't a game for the faint of heart. Wanna play? Maybe. Is that a twinkle I see in your eye? Okay, listen up, greeny. It's simple. I'll open a door for you in a second. Just pass the door as a monster-infested dungeon. So, okay, the green one's unlocked because I beat the green temple. Your goal is to get rid of all the baddies and get to the end of the dungeon. However, you'll find nothing to restore your health inside, nothing at all. Depending on where you are, your items won't work either, so watch out. If you pay attention, it'll be lights out uh, before you know it. What'll it be? Nah, not right now. Well, I've got no for lily liver. No use for lily livered brats anyway. Go on, get out of here. I just don't feel like it right now. What's wrong with that? Gosh, everyone's so rude. Hello, welcome to my store. Maybe I should buy the potion. 100 rupees. Yeah, I'll, I'll carry that just in case. There's no empty bottles in these games. Instead, you just buy a potion, like Zelda 1, and it's in your menu. Always weird that these games do that. Oh, hang on.
Here he comes. Hey, hey, howdy, mister. Greetings, I'm here with a letter from Mr. Alfonso to Link. He told me recently he uh, he recently suffered a nasty injury, but now is on the mend. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, your letter. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Here you go. We've got a letter from the postman. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done. I'll be off. See you around. Choo-choo. There he goes. Let's have a look at the collection. Let me see. Oh, click it. Darn it. Dear Link, sorry I wasn't able to help you more. That guy really did a number on me, so I was feeling pretty rough for a while. Luckily, I'm feeling better. Would you mind coming to get me at the castle and taking me back to a Boda village? Okay. I guess I can do whatever this is right now, since we're not going to the Snow Kingdom. And I've only just kind of passed three hours, so... Just go. I believe he was up over this way. Castle is extra cozy here, isn't it? Ah, Link, so you got my letter, did you? I can finally get around on my own again, but what hurts most is my pride. How could I fail to defend the princess? Now, truth is... What that? The princess's spirit is here with us? You have to go to the Snow Realm to get her body back. Well, normally I'd say you're crazy, but you seem pretty serious. Thing is, from here on out, there are going to be lots of monsters, and an ordinary train like yours isn't going to be able to stand up to them. Ooh, I have an idea, but we gotta go back home to Aboda Village first. Use your new train to take me back there. I'll be waiting at the station. Alright, he's walking off. Look at those boots in the corner. Guards playing cards. Of course they do. When he was carried in, he was covered in wounds, but now he's just fine. He's nothing short of amazing. Alright, let's head on down. Oh, you're here. Ah, it's you again. Listen, the princess still hasn't returned. It's very troubling. What should I do? Teacher, I'm right here. Drat, he can't hear me. Link, please tell teacher he doesn't have to worry about me. What was that, young man? You mean the princess's spirit is here right now? Yes, of course. You talk as if she's passed away. How incredibly insensitive of you. I'm sure she's just out wandering somewhere. But if I sent the soldiers out looking for her, the kingdom would panic. I suppose I'll just have to go find her myself. Move aside. Okay. He goes anywhere except the front door of the castle. I better go find her. She's left the castle. Goes deeper into the castle. I guess no one's gonna believe us. Come on, let's hurry to get my body back. I have to let teacher know I'm okay. Well, we did our best. To the exit. Let's see what Alfonso wants to teach us. Alright, let's get back to Aboda Village. Okay. All aboard! Come on, let's head to Aboda Village. It's about the time we're going back to Aboda Village. I guess this is where I'll get the stamps. Okay... It's gonna go that way, so you know what? I think we're gonna have to go like this. Yeah. Forest realm, everybody. Let's go speeding. Toot the horn. Toot the horn! Alright. Moving over here. The Spirit Tracks theme is more notable because of, um, here in this one in Smash Brothers. It's weird, I kind of forgot this theme was even from Spirit Tracks at this point. Oh boy. Okay. Looks like they're gonna crash into each other. Hang on, will I be able to make this in time? Uh-oh. Hold up. No, he's going up. Hang on, hang on. We can do this. They're both, like, on the same path now.
yeah, I think we're perfectly fine. We just need to get back to the village. And then whenever he does the train there, will probably be a good stopping point. Been recording, yep, a little, what, a little over three hours, pretty good. Train sounds do synchronize well with the music. They do. Ram the caboose. Alfonso's pretty chill. This is the only spirit track song in Smash. True indeed. Almost three and a half? Yeah, yeah. I'm recording anyway. Hmm. We don't need to stop here. There shouldn't be any obstacles. Ugh, let me finish the rest of my drink since we're wrapping up shortly. Yeah, I'll be back again on Thursday doing a Blaze, a Pokemon Blaze Black stream. Hmm. I got a lot of stuff recorded over the weekend and last week, but I've had, had a bit of trouble getting it uploaded, so... Oh, animal. Toot! Ugh. Oh, I've got no shortage of things to upload now, so I can afford to take those extra days. Come on. Toot, toot, toot. Trains toot as we please. This thing does not want to go away. Yeah, get out of here already. Okay, we're almost there. Slow the train down. That is one fine looking train, if you don't mind me saying. That ride was smooth as silk. Can't believe you got such a nice train from the Tower of Spirits. Like I said, I don't think it can handle the dangers you're likely to face. Let me rig something up for you. Comes back with a fully rigged VTuber model. Oh, but it's gonna take some time to get ready. Come back in a while. Why don't you go visit old Nico while you're waiting? I'm sure he'd be happy to see ya. All right. So I came all the way back here for nothing earlier. That was annoying. It was closer than the castle town. I didn't realize you'd be coming back, forced to come back later. So glad you come to see me again, Link. You know, you're a spinning image of one of my old dearest friends. Looking at you reminds me of those golden days. That reminds me of something. Since you can travel all over the world by train now, would you mind doing a favor for old Nico? A uh, favor? Back in the day, I used to love traveling. I visited so many exotic places. Every place I'd go, there'd be a station where I could get a special stamp. I never did figure out who built those stations. Anyway, collecting these stamps was a way to record my travels. I loved those little stamps more than anything, but back then, I didn't have anything with me to stamp them in. It was a sad state of affairs. Which brings me to that favor I was talking about, Link. Would you use this stamp book to collect those stamps for me? Here it is. You got the stamp book. It gets stamps from every part of the world for Nico. Please collect a whole mess of stamps for me. If you get a lot, I'll give you something special. I don't want to go back to the first dungeon just to give him a damn stamp. It takes too long. Unless I unlock a super speedy train later. Sure, let's stamp it. Uh. Okay. Stamp in each page there. That, that's pretty cool. Can actually turn the pages too. Does he care about one? Counting on you. Please get me stamps. Okay. Dating the episode. Literally off center. That's right. You're going to deal with it. Hey. Okay. Hey, Link. Why are there sprinkles on the on the ground there? Whoa. He's whipping something up. He's got a cannon. Oh, you got here just in time. Check this out. 
It's a cannon from your train. With this baby, you can smash through boulders. I'm guessing boulders were blocking the snow realm so that it would force me to do this before I leave. You can even knock out any baddies that get in your way. That's good, because all I could do before was freaking toot the damn horn. Now that we've got this, you should head out to the snow realm. You've got to help out the princess. We're counting on you, Link. Okay, if that's the case, now that we've got all that... Hmm... Hang on a second, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five more items that I can get in this game. Okay. The purple potion is the one that's used automatically, I think. Was it? I remember. Now I can attack the animals, too. Save your progress. Yes, don't mind if I do. Don't remove the game card. Save complete. I think this is a good place to uh, stop for the day. I promised a short stream. And this seems like a good stopping point. So next time we can just immediately go to the Snow Realm and do all our business over there. About three and a half hours of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I almost just said YouTube Spirit Tracks. Because <laughs> I was about to say this going on YouTube. Hmm. The spirits didn't believe in violence. Yes. Yep, I'm having a lot of fun. Again, it's been nice. It's been about a year-ish since the last big Zelda playthrough, so I'm glad to finally be able to add to that playlist again. Uh, gonna do more of this on the weekend. Ooh, making sure we don't overdo it this week, though. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where the recording shall stop. Look forward to more. Have a good night, and bye-bye.